<laughs> hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official Paizo Twitch channel. My name is Tyler Rhodes. You can call me boring old Tyler if you want to insult me, uh, or if you want to use my Twitter handle, that's fine. <laughs> and tonight we're going to be playing some Starfinder with these lovely people, and the name of the show is Deep Water Deep. Deep, Deep Water, Water Deep. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We needed something new. No, my son told my my seven year old son told me that dabbing was over. Yeah, it dabbing, is over. That's why over I did it. Uh, I yeah. was just getting into it. When, yeah. when like newscasters start dabbing, you're like, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Flossing's got like a week and a half max left. Okay, yeah, it? that's true. Yeah, flossing is. Said. Yeah, this that, is me that's... flossing uh, from the waist up so the camera can see it. <laughs> my son did say that flossing is still okay, Very but yeah, I mean, because well, it's it still is... in Fortnite or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Fortnite's gonna go away soon. Oh boy, now it's gonna be in trouble. Those kids are going to be shocked when Fortnite goes on the way out. <laughs> yes. Sorry. We've gone off the rails already. I apologize. <laughs> We're doing great. This is very important stuff. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Tyler Rhodes, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and this is episode eight of uh, the second season of Deep Water Deep. You know what that means? We have three episodes left. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. Three episodes to wrap Woo! up the storyline. Um, and you know what? If there's anybody who's up to the task, it's this guy. Hey. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight on the official Paizo channel. Uh, typically, we work with uh, Saving Throw, but tonight we are airing on the official Paizo channel from the Saving Throw studios in beautiful Los Angeles, California. Um, so uh, a couple of things, a couple of housekeeping things up top that I have to say every time. Uh, I want to thank Paizo Publishing for sponsoring this stream. You guys are awesome. Uh, you have stuck with us. You let us have an entire season of this stuff, and I, I it's a credit to you uh, that, that, that you stuck with us all this time, and hopefully we have made you proud. Uh, I feel good about what we have created here. What the hell was that? I didn't think it was cocked. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm always nervous about this thing falling down. I installed this, but, uh, you know, it looks good. You can withstand a computer. It'll be blast. fine, right? Yeah. Computer! Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so thank you to Paizo uh, for allowing us to, to be on your channel, to appear on our channel, and for uh, sponsoring this stream. And as a consequence, uh, because Paizo is sponsoring this stream, uh, we're not going to beg you for donations, man. I mean, hey, listen. I'll be real. If you guys want to make donations, that's totally fine with me, but we're not going to ask you for it. We don't need it because this, this stream is paid for. Um, but if you're feeling really, really generous and you guys want to support us, uh, what you can do is go ahead and go over to the Saving Throw uh, merchandise, uh, what are they called? merchandise page on <laughs> TeePublic. Uh, go to TeePublic.com. Uh, Saving Throw has a... A place where you can purchase, uh, you can purchase mugs, you can purchase T-shirts, you can purchase a cell phone. This is uh, this is something I purchased from T Public. It is nice. It's bulletproof, from what I understand, what I was told, from what I made up in my mind. Um, <laughs> my Garnet Laser Brash Death shirt arrived this week. Oh yes, oh, yeah. and, and if you guys are interested, you could check it out. We have a new T-shirt over there, and it is of. Remind me what her name is, Justin. Kaitala. Kaitala. Who is the Kasata female who is on the nose of the Garnet Laser Brash Death? She keeps us safe. She keeps us safe, and she is uh, she's a Kasata. She is in a pinup pose, and it is a little risque, but it makes for an awesome T-shirt. I know Jesse has one, um, mm -hmm. and Dan also has one now too. So if you would like to own that little piece of history, uh, check out the T Public <laughs> channel, uh, the, the T Public uh, store page. It's awesome. Um, so that's the first way. That if if you are feeling generous, you can support us that way. A second way that you can support us is by just subscribing to the Paizo Twitch channel. Um, Paizo, as you guys all know, is a cool company. They do a lot of neat things. Uh, they have a lot of really cool uh, RPGs, including this one that we're playing tonight called Starfinder. Uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a worthwhile investment. And if you like what uh, Paizo is doing and if you want to support uh, live streamers and, and just give Paizo a shot across the bow, like, hey, this is the kind of content we want, Daniel, uh, then you can subscribe to this channel. If you've already subscribed to this channel, you know what? You can gift a subscription. It's crazy. I got gifted a subscription today to some channel named Squiddish, um, who's also a streamer who uh, does a uh, does a Pathfinder show on Monday nights. Hey. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I, it's like I got Starfinder on the ground. Uh, it was it was neat. I was like, hey, I'm, I feel like I'm a part of Squiddish's community. Um, 
So uh, you could do that for somebody. You could bring them into the Paizo community. It's, it's fun, it's simple, and it has a couple of benefits. First of all, you get access to the Paizo emotes, which are super dope. Uh, they have uh, they have the, the golem doing little heart gestures, and they have flaming dice, and ice cold dice, and all the like. It's very cool. The second benefit that you have is I, Tyler Rhodes, will place you into this game as an NPC. I have done this for many, many people. I, I, I've lost count of how many people have have subscribed here uh, that I have just thrown willy-nilly into the game. Some of them become like integral NPC characters, uh, uh, such as uh, Meth Orc, uh, yeah, who was, who was a, a, a gentleman, <laughs> gentleman who joined us uh, uh, in the um, er earlier in the first couple of episodes. He became a, uh, a pretty crucial uh, NPC. Yeah. Uh, and others we like meet episodes. and immediately kill. Uh. Yes, other ones we will just destroy <laughs> immediately. You will, you will get uh, shot in the head and you have a glorious death. Um, but, you know, it's a real roll of the dice. Uh, it, it all depends on what these guys choose to do. Sometimes they'll just take a grunt, and that grunt will be their best friend, and the, the yeah. grunt will be the informant. You know, you never know. Uh, but but that's the second benefit that you get from subscribing to this channel. Um, and I think that is all that I have in the way of announcements. Uh, let's go around the table and introduce the people you have. You will notice some of you who have an eagle eye. Uh, some of you have been with us before, you will notice that there is a vacant seat over here, and that is where our dearly beloved uh, Ravity sits. Ravity is not dead. She is, uh, she's just, was not available to stream tonight, and so Ravity, if you are out there, uh, uh, we will see you next week. Um, uh, and you will not be seeing me next week, but we'll go into that a little bit more later. Um, uh, anyway, let's go around the table and introduce the characters, or the players who are here tonight. We're going to start to my right with this dude. Who showed up every week? Hey. To my knowledge, I think, right? Mm, this season, yes. This the season, first yeah. season I missed one and yeah. was incapacitated with gas. Yes. <laughs> not, not, not that way. My character was. Never mind. Uh, that sounds like uh, yeah, yeah, yes. we, we get it. Yeah, uh, just keep the story. Yeah, you're, 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 the, you're the one one constant, uh, I think, this, this season. Uh, Captain's got to be this yeah, season, constant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But yeah, this Captain's season. Got to be around. Yeah. I, I haven't even made every episode, so I shouldn't give people crap. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so who are you and who are you playing tonight? I am Jesse Durant. And I will be playing Captain Will Dean, the only human crew member of the Scarlet mm -hmm. <laughs> Garnet Laser Brash Death. It's been a while since I've done that. Easy mistake to make. Yeah, Garnet Laser Brash Death. And, uh, you know, we're going back to places that I've been in this episode, most likely. So <coughs> it's going to be uh, looking for some redemption. I don't know how we're going to get in there, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, what, what, is, what about me? I'm so bad at describing myself. So yeah. I am I, I, an operative. Oh yeah. Right. Describe the actual <laughs> physical. So uh, I am an operative, profile. which is the roguish type of uh, of class, and I'm also cross class with Solarian. Yeah. And I'm almost like equally cross classed. So, which means I can uh, manipulate the forces of stars and black holes, gravity and photon yeah. creation, destruction. No big deal. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. You know. And I dab not because it's cool, but because it's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's it's coming back in an ironic way. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be started wait. by 30-year-olds. Is mm -hmm. irony cool anymore? Oh, oh shoot. My, I, I know. That. Sincerity is the new irony. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Damn. Oh, cool. Oh, well, thank you for joining thank us, you. Uh, Jesse. I'm rolling. looking forward to playing some damn games with you tonight. Let's mm -hmm. continue around the table. To this gentleman in wearing a lizard head. Who the hell are you? Hi, and who my are you name playing is Jordan Pridgen, mm -hmm. and I am playing No Bubble Bear who is a uh, Vesk soldier who's got a gun. He's named Computer after a computer he's in love with. And um, he also likes to hit things with swords and weapons, and, and he wants to die. That's his whole shtick. He, uh, he wants to die an honorable death, and he's too good at staying alive. Yep. So he he's a life of Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> it's his curse. I can't die. That's how that works. Wasn't that a Dabney Coleman movie? Am I crazy? Does anybody remember this? Like uh, he was he was on he was a cop. He was on his last day. Oh, Major Dad. Uh, no, damn you. <laughs> no, look it up. It was. I swear to God, this is a real movie. He was a cop, and in order to uh, cash out on his retirement, he had to die in the line of duty, and so he just went crazy oh. trying to uh, to to die, and he, and he kept failing, and he kept getting awarded because he was like, uh, okay. if it's not a movie. 
Then you should make it. I know. Yeah. Dabney yeah. Coleman is still with us, yeah. right? Dabney, if you're watching, and God. we know you are, I know. give us a call. Dabney, if you're out there, please. <laughs> we got ideas for you. You got the part. Me. I think it was Dabney Coleman. I don't know. It's somebody in chat. Please, God, help me out. Uh, that, I, that wasn't some <laughs> crazy fever dream uh, of, a, of a 12-year-old boy. Because um, it was like a it, it late 80s or early 90s movie. But I swear to God, it's real. Um, so, yes, you're, you're essentially Dabney Coleman from that movie. Trying to die, but failing... Uh, you just and 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 getting rewarded with extra power. Short time. Yeah. Short time. Thank you. Short time. Short time. For a minute, I thought he was like, "We're short on time," and I'm like, "What? It's seven forty-two. It's a real movie." Oh, thank God, I haven't thought of that movie in uh, since I saw it. Probably, I instantly forgot about it. Um, so, well, thank you, Jordan. Thank you for joining us. Happy to, to help bring back memories of, of short time. Yes, I know. It's it's one of the. I'm digressing like crazy tonight. I, I swear to God, it's going to be one of those. But we got to stay on target. Because we got three damn episodes to finish this yeah. storyline. Yeah. <sighs> okay. And speaking of staying on target, let's continue around the table to this gentleman here. Who are you, sir, and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Dan Peck, and I play Twill, the teenage uh, android technomancer, pilot, uh, former pro gamer, uh, incapacitated for the last episode because uh, I was out sick. So. Um, uh, victim of uh, space diarrhea. You got a virus. Yeah. Space diarrhea. From, uh, what was it? The cheese nugget? I <laughs> yeah, watched. I, while I was sick, I watched. The cheese nugget. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, joined the crew, part of the failed rebellion, tagging along with Will, and, you know, just like, here to party and stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, I don't know what that is. That's me being, I'm very hot under these goggles. <laughs> uh, yeah, Still so a that's, bit of a fever, uh, maybe, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's uh, who they are. Yes, yes, and Twill Twill is a they. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, they know should, magics. Yes, they, they are very cool. Um, I should, I should say, I should tell you all that I'm going to be uh, gone next week. With space diarrhea. With space diarrhea. I'm planning on getting space diarrhea or next yes. week. And uh, so I will be out of town, and uh, this is what we did last year, or last season when I had to leave. Uh, I had my substitute GM fill in, and Dan is going to be filling in for me next week. Um, it is going to be a pretty awesome show. I'm excited. I'm excited to see, because Dan has told me what he's doing, and it, it sounds a little bonkers. And I know how much you guys like bonkers, so uh, make sure you guys tune in next week. Uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, but See hilarious you then. in a fun way. <laughs> bonkers is good. <laughs> so um, uh, so yeah, so thank you, Dan, thank uh, for you filling for, in as always. Thank you for uh, letting me Namaste. Um, you know exhibit my godlike. Ability uh, on on the stream. Yes, so, it, fe it yeah. feels so good if you be and sitting if, behind here. And if we have a lot of fun, um, I'm not saying something bad will happen to you, but you know maybe you just don't come back. No, yeah, I love no, you very fine. much. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I had it coming, man. No. Yeah, it's like you know, if if the the lead quarterback goes down, the backup comes in the back and just the backup just kills it. I mean, how could I be mad about that? Quarterback I just want a, this show to succeed. Quarterback is a football player. Yeah, for yeah, those yeah. of you who may not know, mm -hmm. sports, space, space SF Forty Niners Giants. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, he um, does. That's a so yes, uh, speaking of weeks and things and recaps, uh, I created a recap last week. And Dom, uh, sorry, I should have checked with you before the show. We we said we have that queued up, right? It's still still in there. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, two weeks ago, uh, last week, uh, we had some internet issues. Uh, they have been resolved, hopefully, um, mostly, uh, occasionally not. We, we may drop out, but we'll be back. Uh, we're, we're, it's a constant running war with the good people at uh, Time Warner, I mean Spectrum. Um, Don't say bad things about them. They've, they're modern. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. Kill the feed. <laughs> Please, Spectrum, be cool. Be cool, man. Be so cool. so far, we've been cool. Um, so anyway, we were, we, were, we were out last week, but the week before that, some, some stuff happened. And uh, Dom has got it queued up. And Dom, if you could play that for the lovely people, I would appreciate it. Previously on Deep Bar Deep. If it were to be taken by the enemy, that could be very bad. Not to mention, oh if we can take it back, we might still be able to use it against the Atlantes. We know, like, we're the general area of where this base is, right? Mm -hmm. Because you've been there before. Yeah. So let's start by heading yeah. there. How far away is it from our current location? Uh, Pretty far. <laughs> yeah. We could steal it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to steal the vehicle. I am comfortable with this. <laughs> You're going to steal, steal Cheese yes. Moto's vehicle? Yes. We'll give it back. leave him uh, a message of some kind? I'm going to write him a little message. 
I'm gonna leave him actually one of the bottles from the mini bar, uh, and it just says enjoy Mira X X X X. I am Commander Doon Pook of New Ticklia, and I demand to know what your business is here. I am the mayor here, and I have, I am under no obligation to provide any credentials. You, however, are trespassing on new Ticklia ground, and I demand to see your passes. We didn't come here by intention, more by habitat. We are part of a foreign mining expedition. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm mining. I just keep digging and hope something appears. You know so, how it is with mining. You just dig and dig and dig, and then when you find something, that is what you were mining. <laughs> like to take you downtown to make sure you are properly credentialed. The mistakes do happen, but mistakes need to be punished. Right. There's an entrance around back. How much of is this bail? Of course it is, yes. That? It's bail? Yeah, well, we set it a thousand credits if you can believe it. That's it? That seems <laughs> kind of Yeah, the mayor was side. pretty PO'd. What does your husband look like? I mean, you must know. You put him in there. Mm-hmm. Ted, they He's are going. Got can we can several we limbs, <laughs> most of which are still attached? Fluff, and fluff, you have such a good body. You have a plus 16 years. I believe uh, he fluff. has a torso. <laughs> the most I was just I've told exactly. <laughs> he looks like the love of my life. <laughs> okay, give me give me your bluff so, inside of the prison cell, as you might have yeah. guessed. Oh, you oh. dirty. <laughs> wow. It's sick. A very, very unhappy, uh, uh, very unable to move. Yeah. You know uh, one's got this now. Is no good. No <laughs> He's good. still trapped. Wow. <laughs> you don't recognize him. No, I don't. You're not sure what the hell this is. But there I you say, do. No. Hello, honey. How does he look? How does Methork look? Also, I'm texting both of you that I found Methork. Methork looks okay. unhappy. He knows you're here to take me back or murder me. <sighs> I'm still deciding. I am leaning towards the ladder, but. Uh, I wouldn't blame you. I'm going to let you out of here. I'm going to pay your bail. And if you try to run, I will shoot you in the back. No. Are oh, you going to shoot me now? No, well, well I'm, I'm still deciding. I'm going to shoot you Do you, you want me to turn my back to you so you can do that? No, I'm a little we're confused. Gonna, we're we're, we're going to wait till we get out of here. Okay. Threat or persuasion. <laughs> Threat. <laughs> Threat. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Carrot stick. Carrot yeah. stick. <laughs> carrot stick? You can't hit him with the carrot. <laughs> it has never worked. <laughs> Our best bet is to is to use him as a diplomat for the other contemplatives, right? Mm -hmm. You see wreckage on the ground. It's like an APC of some kind. It looks a bit like this. <sighs> Here. Oh! Oh Whoa, no! Yeah. Dude! Guys, check it out. Sorry, Henry. There are bodies down there. Usually, I would say leave them, but they seem pretty immobile. We could maybe get some information on exactly what happened to them. Yeah. I recommend we spend as little time as possible in this area. What's up? There are multiple bluffs within firing distance. Right. Okay, thank you, Beck. The corpse opens his eyes and goes, Yes! Oh, get down! Get down! They're in the bluffs! My name is Private, Private Jenkins? Private Jenkins? Private Jenkins? Uh, Leroy Jenkins, possibly? No, <laughs> Jason. Okay. Jason, oh, that's fine, Jason. What's going Jason. on? Who's in the bluffs, who's in the bluffs? Where were you going? Uh, we were gonna uh, 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 stop by New Tickley and, uh, and, and eventually get to Davenport. Why? Uh, we needed to get, uh, we needed to repair the, uh, we, uh, we needed to repair the, uh, uh, communications beacon. Communications got beacon? got damaged in a storm, like, uh, three days ago. Do you know who they are? Probably the Islanti, I imagine. Ten, Do you agree? Ten seconds. Yeah. Ten seconds. Um, Is there anything you want us to? No. Yeah. no, 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 no. Do you want us to don't kill them. I don't know. Kill What's them, going kill on? Them. Bring me back. Can you get me back in the town? Or... He's done. He did. <laughs> Someone say something cool before we go, like, you know, like, oh, looks like we're hoofing it, and then cock a gun and stride <laughs> with the suits on, like, something cool. And I'm like, a giant fast lizard! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There it is! Yeah. Catch brain! Oh. There it is.
one. Where was I? Hey, where what? was I? What was Dan doing not there? This is where I was here. Yeah. I don't remember any of that happening. <laughs> Where'd your beard go? <laughs> I know. I lost it. This is crazy. It's madness. But we're back now. Hi. We're ready to go. And so we are in the middle of a... Uh, uh, a desert slash tundra uh, situation. It is a it is a sandy, snowy mess right now. Uh, uh, snow banks intermingled with sand dunes. Uh, so the we will call uh, it Operation Desert Storm. That's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. What could go wrong? Um, uh, so we're in the desert, and we have parked the cheese moto mobile. Mm. Um, uh, in the middle of the desert, and the five people have gotten out, and the plan is to walk the remaining. How far was it? Was it fifty miles? Hey, we were right up, right up on the fifty mile yeah. mark, I think. Or I wake up and you guys tell me what's been going on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Twill is fine. Ah. Having eaten a bad corned beef hash, I believe, was what we gave you. You just had to like defragment your yep your like mm -hmm. network. I just had yes. to turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw up. It's a bunch of bolts and nuts. And you're like ah. That's much better. Like, I need those. I just wake up. I, I, Twelve wakes up like, uh, we were in a town. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so much has happened, but there's not enough time to explain. That's fine. And I'm caught up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So they catch him up. Um, uh, so Sebastian and Mira. Uh, uh, Sebastian uh, turns to you all and goes, well, uh, as much as I would uh, love to join you all on your adventure, uh, I do feel that it would be... A bit, a bit of a blow to my journalistic integrity if I was to take part in this assault is what I'm assuming it's going to be. So uh, what I will do is I will pilot the crafts, and when I'm given the high sign from y'all, uh, I will join you at the base. Is this all right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it, <laughs> if it's any bit as dangerous as I think it's probably going to be, we need you alive anyway. So mm. I mean, yes. Now, uh, I would appreciate uh, possibly having somebody stay behind as a, a bit of a security detail. I, I don't I don't, I don't know what sort of I'll go. I'm have. security. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking somebody perhaps a little bit taller could... Uh, no, anyway. me. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, don't worry. You are a mighty warrior, but I think you'll be needed at base. I think uh, it might be easiest if uh, I have somebody who's a little more capable with... Uh, uh, Desert striding? Yeah. Because I've got the perfect person for you. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's what I have in mind. Um, Mira, you mind staying behind? You mind going with? I'm not going to do my Mira impression. Uh, no, uh, what does Mira sound like? Uh, William? Yeah, fine. <laughs> Yes, w yes, William. I'll stay. Oh, it still sounds too sassy. I don't know. I don't want to do. I don't want to do Ravity justice. I'm terrible at uh, female impersonations. Uh, Mira <laughs> agrees, and uh, she's going to stay behind uh, with uh, security with Sebastian, and uh, they both get into the vehicle, uh, which is situated right over there, and um, <clears throat> vehicle. Let's see. Put Mira here, and Sebastian here. And well, they say, well, well, we're just going to uh, uh, circle around a bit, and uh, you guys give us a high sign when you've either uh, uh, gotten to the base and disabled their anti-air defenses, or uh, if not, I guess, you know, we'll be seeing you. Beck will have gotten his wish. I can only dream. <laughs> I appreciate the positive attitude you're bringing into this stressful situation. Of course, of course. It's bittersweet. <laughs> Sweet. All right, right. well, uh, we'll be seeing you. All right, be safe, okay? <clears throat> and the well, he gives Mira machine. a lingering look. Mm -hmm. Revealing mm -hmm. a skittermander what? laying <laughs> in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, new friends. Friends. Captain, do we attack? Uh, no. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. Let's not do anything hasty here, what, Gree. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just a stowaway. W why would you stowaway with us? We're all gonna get killed. <laughs> I didn't really have a choice, okay? Um, uh, I was, a, uh, I was, a uh, Commander Donpok. He, um, he was after me. He was gonna arrest me. For what? Well, I'm the best assassin in uh, the tri-state area, at least. So, uh... He, Very big uh, states. Big states, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty big states. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, we have a friend who's an assassin. Do you know the posh panda? 
Wait, I guess he's not actually a friend. No, he's not. He's the opposite of a friend. Wait, are you the posh panda? I'm not a posh panda. What's your name? Uh, my name's Ruffalo. Ah, I'm uh, William Dean. Hey, Ruffalo, nice oh, to meet you. Greetings, new friend. And you must be... I am no Bavabek. I am security officer in this crew, which has gotten smaller and now gotten slightly larger, but still has a net loss. He's so tall! <laughs> I'll like run up next to him, because uh, a Skittermander is a three foot tall, very furry, kind of cute looking, kind of looks like Leo of Leo and Stitch. Wait, I have a, a, an image of him. Hold on a second. Wait, who, Leo? No, 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 the Stitch of Leo. And oh, Stitch. Lilo, okay, yes. Looks like this, this is what I look like. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> it's perfect representation. Twill green jumpsuit. Uh, got a lot of weapons on him. All right. Mm -hmm. Twill runs up and does that. You are the cutest thing I've ever seen. Can I have a hug? Uh, Remember, he's an assassin. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Look how cute he is. I'm flattered, but no. Okay, later then. But All I right. am flattered. Boundaries, I can respect that. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, you came with us just to get out of town? No, I didn't know what I was getting into. I just had to get away, and I luckily got into the vehicle of, well, I, I assume it's not yours. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. No. It's okay, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> good. But it is the vehicle of a good and close personal <laughs> friend of ours. Okay, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. And we stole it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like a nice thing to do to friends. Well, I mean, we'll give it back. Our moral compass is sometimes a little off. <laughs> it's just part of how we operate. Look, we were talking about net losses and net gains. This is for the greater good, so this is a net gain. Well, for, uh, kind of. Speaking of the greater good, I, I couldn't help but over here, because I was in the car, I stowed away in, and you're going to some base because some empire's coming to attack us? Yeah. So yeah, the worst empire. Islanti? Yeah. Really? Those are the ones. They're coming. Believe it. They're probably at the base right now. How good of an assassin are you? I'm the best in the tri-state area! Well, so pretty want, good. you want to tag along and prove it? Yeah. You are yeah. the best, and I cannot wait to fight with you. With me? Yeah. Cool. Cool. No, it's like side by side, not like, hey, put them up. You got, put up your dukes. What's a duke? It's these, you got the dukes. Uh, you got six dukes. Why do you call them? A duke is a dukes? form of nobility. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these cultural Usually exchanges. above an earl and barons. Wait, why do you call your fist dukes? I just do. But tell me more. <laughs> oh, so Skittermanders uh, will go nonstop on any topic they don't know anything about. They're just gonna be uh, like, what is that? Tell me more, tell me more. Get to the bottom. Tell of me more, heads. so you're gonna have to stop them at some point. <laughs> you can read all about Skittermanders in the, uh, the Skittershot uh, Starfinder Society. It was uh, the free to, like the free RPG day mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. module from last year. Oh, you, you'll you learn more than you ever wanted to know about Skittermanders. They're so cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're super fun. They're super cool. <laughs> Enough fun to conquer, that's for sure. <laughs> Why would you conquer us? I mean, we tried, it was just boring. I know. <laughs> I mean, you can come in, it's fine. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's why it's not fun. <laughs> Took all the joy out of conquering. <laughs> but well, I can't get a hug, all right. <laughs> as, uh, as pleasant as this is, we got about 50 miles to cover, so uh, get started. Okie dokie. Okay. Wish we still had the car, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to make uh, any last minute uh, preparations? Uh, I know you guys aren't wearing any cold weather gear, but uh, you do all have your armor on. Yeah, those have that uh, has environmental protection, so uh, that should keep you, hopefully, uh, unless things get crazy, should keep you guys nice and toasty. Yeah, if it gets bad, if anyone's freezing, I got that cloak too that also gives me environmental protection, so. Oh, nice. So I we're, can wrap we're, it around you sweetly. So we're like on the edge of basically like the radar detection zone? Yes. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull out my, um, uh, shoot, I forgot what it's called. The, uh, the signal jammer. Jammer. Uh -huh. uh, which can block signals up to four miles. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna turn it on yet, but I'm gonna kind of use that possibly as like a decoy on the ready to kind of like mess with their sensors. Okay. I suspect they might already know we're here. And the uh, radar they, detector on the car was going off a little bit. So. It, it was getting pinged. Yeah. Uh, I figure if we turn it on, we have a while, we, it'll give us a big radius, it'll just take them a while to figure out where the center is. Like, I wish we had the car, because then we could mess with them, but, you know, if we swerve. if we see a missile coming, I'll turn it on, and maybe they won't be able to hit us. Here's open. <laughs> I would rather not put them more on guard than we need to. Hopefully, by going on foot, as they see the 
car to have left. They will not notice us, but if they do, then we can certainly use that as some sort of distraction. Exactly. <clears throat> what is the, what level is that signal jammer? Uh, it's only level one. Level one. Yeah. Okay. It's a baby okay. jammer. Okay. Yeah, but it still does four miles. It's just easier to override. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Cool. So. Uh, hey, do you have a coat? Uh, I have my natural coat of fur. Okay. Good. I'm okay though. Thank you okay. for your concern. Yeah, he's wearing. You're wearing. Uh, what, what's the armor I give you? It's a skitter something. Uh, Mander. Which of these eleven pages contains my armor? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on the second page uh, under your. The second page on the back or the third page? Oh, oh Christ, it, I don't know. It says light armor. Yes. Proficiency. Okay. Uh, attack. Bonus. It's in there somewhere. Uh, regardless, uh, he <laughs> he does have a, a, a nice suit of armor on him, and he does seem to be relatively well dicked out with decked out <laughs> with, uh, uh, with weapons. <laughs> You, oh, you, okay. Did you do you have some tech like in the picture there, like some uh, some computer of course, panels? I came uh, semi prepared. I was being arrested, so I didn't bring everything. You have a uh, gun? Of course, I have a gun. I was holding it. All oh, right. What is uh, what's your? I mean, killing people, obviously, but <clears throat> how, how do you go about that, generally speaking? Oh, uh, usually I uh, sneak up behind them and then point my weapon and fire. Okay, old school. Yeah, <laughs> all right. It works out pretty well because I'm yeah. pretty tiny, and they don't see me coming. If they do, they're like, "Oh, that's a small, uh, <coughs> a harmless creature." You also have uh, uh, a sniper uh, rifle. Yes, yes, sometimes I don't walk up to them. <laughs> I just do the firing part, and they die. Uh, good, good. Sometimes I shoot from one tri-state area to another tri-state area. Yeah, and that's an impressive <laughs> shot. That is an impressive shot. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I approve of killing people from behind. Well, a warrior has a right to see who it is that they are going to be killed by, and then to try and kill them also, but hopefully lose. Wow. You really believe that, huh? I do! That's it's sort of my whole thing! That's, that's really cool, but uh, I can't fight that well because I got six tiny arms, see? So, uh, I, I gotta make do with what I got, but hmm. I, 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 I respect that. You, you're, you're really cool. All right. Uh, I could understand how having smaller arms would make that philosophy harder to follow. Yeah, <laughs> and also, if you had six arms, wouldn't you just rather hold six guns? <clears throat> I've never thought about it, but... That does sound like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real drift. It's real drift. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> all right, cool. So I'm actually um, going to put on the mask for the first time all season. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There yeah, you go. Oh, oh it makes sense because we're in the desert. Yeah. Desert time, yo. Right. And there's no there's no Mira to uh, give she, you dirty she looks. She can't judge me. Yeah. <laughs> for wearing. <this. laughs> she doesn't even have to know. <laughs> Winter travel. All right. So you guys you guys have a have a map and you have uh, the the coordinates for where you believe the base is located and so you start heading off in that direction and uh, as you are heading north you're getting kind of uh, deeper and deeper into the snow and very quickly uh, the weather starts to starts to get really uncomfortable um, like I said you guys all have suits that are environmentally protected so you're able to survive in space uh, but um, but snow is starting to fall um, and the wind is starting to whip up, and it's getting very uncomfortable. So uh, this is for about two hours. Uh, you guys are kind of going through snow. It's a li it's a light snow, um, but but the wind is fairly strong. Um, uh, according, to, well, according to this sheet Whoa. as well, mm -hmm. my solar armor affords a resi an AC resistance to <clears throat> cold or fire. Damn. Is that for lingering? If I, is that for like direct, or is that just? Um, no, I, I, I imagine it, you can you can probably uh, summon the the heat of the sun uh, to keep yourself nice and toasty. So you're fine. Uh, everybody else is kind of feeling the edges of the cold as you are descending deeper and deeper into the Arctic uh, region of uh, of deep water deep. Um, if we uh, were to make a fire, would it be blowing out? Um, there's not a lot of fuel around here um, unless you have something that you can burn. Um, it, it, yeah, it's 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 a very wide uh, expanse. There's not a lot of vegetation. But is anywhere. the wind a factor? The wind, yes, the wind would probably would probably blow it out at this point. It, okay. it, it's strong enough. So when you when you factor in sort of the low temperatures and the wind mm -hmm. chill, it's it's getting kind of. I don't want to say dangerously cold, but I will dangerously cold. Oh no. Well, uh, also, a, a fire is is the the classic. Let the people know where you are. <laughs> yes, right. Well, Actually, used to let people know where you are. <laughs> I, I can summon uh, 
small creatures as one of my spells that I have not used, and I was going to have a fire elemental basically walk with us to keep oh, us warm. Oh, I thought you were going to use them as fuel. No! Yeah, right. Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> I don't want to stand next no. to him anymore. Because <laughs> I had to pick a, 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 a creature type, and I chose an elemental, and I can summon a fire elemental. So I'm not going to do that, because it would just kill them instantly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the, the uh, clouds are starting to get darker. Um, the wind is starting to pick up. Um, and let's do these two things for walking. We'll do that one to represent the strength of the wind. Um, and your your suit alarm is going off. It is, um, it is what, what is the temperature right now? Uh, it, it is zero degrees Celsius uh, outside right now uh, with, the, with, with the wind chill and the coldness. You guys have been going for about yeah, two hours or so. Mm. Captain. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You've been in this area before. Do you have an idea of how close we are to approaching the base? Pretty far. Pretty far back, it seems like. <laughs> um, we're still, uh, I don't know, I imagine we're probably, what, now, 40 miles out or something? Um, or, well, maybe a little closer. You've been, you've been going for about two hours, so uh, I, I put you at, like, I don't know, maybe 10 I mean, I'm not sure how, how fast you guys would be traveling. As fast oh. as possible. Yeah. Our suits protect against... us from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. Yes. So we're okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, so you guys barely. are still good. But it's still right. unpleasant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, uh, I mean, I do have the jetpack, which I can probably fly low enough. I don't know about the wind, though. Uh, you should be fine in the wind. You think so? Yeah. I can tie a uh, rope to yours? <laughs> <laughs> Might need a little piloting check, but... Everyone uh, can just ski across the tundra. <laughs> I mean, that could maybe even work. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> How about a ski line? That sounds pretty cool. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not huge, right? <laughs> I'm the tiniest. Mm. At least this blizzard should do more work towards hiding our approach. Yeah, we should be a little bit covered up here. Mm. Hmm. So what, what's what's the plan when, when we when we get there? Like, well, we're just like, gonna figure it out. I mean, just figure like, is there like one guy that's in charge that we just you know like? Just get the one He's guy. dead, and then and then they all just be like, oh no, we give up. Can we do that? Is that a thing? Uh, hopefully, probably not. Oh. I think uh, most likely we can expect a bunch of people to be there, and we will find a way to uh, do some recon and then take it, take the base from them somehow. You're new, so we'll forgive your naivete, but we don't really ever know what we're doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's that's a, that's a way to go about things. Let life come to you. Yeah, we get it done. Okay. I and can then kill it. That. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you're a sneaky, it might come in handy when we get there. Oh, I'm very sneaky. Hmm. The sneakiest, you might say. <laughs> Sneaker than me? Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> very much so. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we <will. laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you guys start traveling for about another hour. You would estimate that you are about uh, uh, twenty or so miles at this point uh, for the amount that you've traveled. We'll say you say you've gone about four hours or so. Let's um, give up a turn back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ain't like you. <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the, the the weather has died down a little bit. Um, uh, sky seems to be clearing, uh, and the temperature has gone back up uh, a little bit, and whatever system that was seems to have passed. Um, and you guys continue north. Um, just give me, uh, somebody with the survival, give me a survival check for uh, orienteering. You have the map. Um, but there, there seems to be some kind of interference up here. Stay on target. I'm not very survival-y, but we're just heading north, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a 27. 27? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mine. Yeah, this is, uh, it, it, you have to circumnavigate the occasional, uh, crevasse, um, you know, there's, there's, uh, outcroppings of rocks that you could either go over or go around. So um, this is just the, to kind of just to keep things on track and to get you guys out of here as quickly as possible. And so, uh, uh, Beck, you're able to identify uh, the best way through using your superior uh, outdoorsman knowledge. Ah, yes! My instincts tell me that way! <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. I trust you too! Nice. Why? No one has presented <laughs> another option, so your trust is unnecessary. <laughs> but I will take it. Okay. <clears throat> and you guys, uh, 
get into uh, where you're about, uh, I want to say about 10 miles out. You could probably push, you could probably push through and, and get it done in about an hour. Um, cool. and, and that's when this guy uh, just goes black and a, a, a weather front just kind of rushes in and it's quick and it's sudden and it's violent. Um, uh, and uh, it just kind of blasts you all down to the point where it's difficult to see uh, much less walk. Um, and uh, you can, the visibility is down to about uh, a 10 feet or so in front of you. Okay. Um, and the, the temperature, uh, just due to the wind chill alone, is dropping to about probably minus 15 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh. Which is, again... Uh. Covered by your suit, but uh, your suit is letting you know, hey, uh, this is this is not good. Um, do you guys want to wait this out, or do you want to push forward? We better not wait because there's no cover. Well, is yeah. there some cover? Uh, not not that you can see. Okay. Uh, you're, you're kind of out on a flat expanse now. There was uh, about 15 minutes back. There was a, a little rock outcropping that you had to circumnavigate, but uh, there's been nothing for. Last 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna try to throw out my solar mode to see if it can <coughs> at least help light up our immediate area a little bit more. Okay, yeah, Probably yeah. Won't be able to see much. But that increases that increases the, the visibility slightly. Okay. Uh, you know, you can. How far out can you send it? Uh, oh, geez, I think it's like 10 feet. Hold 10 on. feet, right. something like that. What's a solar mode? Uh, for Solarians, they have a little solar mode they keep with them that is kind of like a concentrated uh, chunk of like uh, uh, gravitational and proton energy. So it's it's kind of what they use to to either like make their armor or their weapon or you know their attacks. That's pretty cool. So uh, and and it, it shines pretty bright then, right? Yeah, I can I can it can shine pretty bright, and then uh, it's like a it's a blue. My my particular one's blue, so it can light okay. up the general area. Just throw it out. So yeah, you just have a a, a nice blue light that uh, a, a kind of illuminates the area. Um, Captain, and, I suggest we uh, buddy up because it's gonna be really easy to lose sight of the group, you know. Uh, even with the moat, it just you know, you you two keep an eye on each other. We'll uh, we'll keep an eye on each other, uh, and that way no one gets lost. I mean, I I I, I have six <laughs> hands, so I can hold one of each of your hands if you'd like. <laughs> that is so adorable. But <laughs> I try to think of like the geometry well, of you it. You just hold me up, and uh, you'll be carrying me a little bit. But I do only, you want to get on my back? I, twill, twill, I you're with me. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm with you, tallest one. <laughs> this is Very well, it. small skitter Amanda. Oh, uh, you may climb on my back if you would like. Oh, I, I, I. Did you say like... climb on my back? I am back. <laughs> <laughs> I would very much like to climb on your back. All right. Okay, could you hold my hand? <laughs> this, is, this is the adorable I would Skittermander love you guys to. were expecting. <laughs> that is from okay. the Skittermander colony, not oh, the crazy uh, a-hole that you guys ran into. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Okay. I love holding guns. Okay, I will keep a lookout with my scope up here, so you just keep on walking. All right, mm. so we have, like, ten miles to go to the mm -hmm. place. Yeah. yeah, it'll take a little bit longer in this weather, probably, but we'll we're still going to make it. Plus, this is good weather to come in on, because... Visibility is very low. It could also jam their communications a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. It'd be very nice if we could take the whole place over and they don't call any reinforcements. Oh, how likely is that? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> well, it's yeah. worth a shot. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just just as predicted, this is a blizzard uh, that has blown in, and the uh, the storm intensifies uh, uh, to the point where you're really not seeing much beyond uh, beyond your hand. Um, and I would I would just like all of you guys to make a survival check. Survival check. Got a twenty nine. I got, I got eight. a dirty twenty. Dirty 20, 29. Um, and of course, if you fail a survival check, you die. Yeah, exactly. That's it's instant death. death. Okay, so sorry, at, uh, Twill, unfortunately. Thank you, Dan, uh, yeah, for thanks, joining yeah. us. Thanks for playing an yes. indoor kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun playing with you, and leave. I'm going to replace you. <laughs> yes. This is an audition garage. I don't hate that. <laughs> I mean, I'd be sad to leave, but this creation you've gifted us. You're dead. Shut up. <laughs> Um, uh, so, so yeah, uh, the, the, the temperature alarms start going off on most of your guys' suits. Um, you are actually pretty uncomfortable. 
because uh, you've got the power of the sun. Um, you know, you're, you're heated up. You've got this cloak on. The cloak has to be activated, so I haven't activated. Oh, you haven't activated the cloak yet? Okay, you just don't need the cloak yet. Yeah, you, you just good. Um, uh, no, Baba Beck has the heat of a skittermander on his back, mm. and so the two of you are kind of using body heat uh, uh, to stay warm, and, and it's 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 very nice uh, as it turns out. Um, <laughs> Twill, on the other hand. Uh, has, cold, unfeeling yes. android. He is a. He is a. <laughs> sorry, uh, they are a, a very you know a, a skinny, solidly built, but uh, at, at the same time, uh, just kind of going it alone, and it, it starts to get very cold. So uh, the, the the cold starts seeping into your bones, and the the darkness sort of seeps into your head and kind of mm. gets in there. Uh, for psychic damage, uh, but the thing that affects you is cold damage. So you take two points of cold damage. Oh, oh God! How's everybody holding up? I'm freezing my can off. <laughs> I'm all right, Captain. <laughs> I cannot die in environmentally. Uh, I cannot die due to environmental hazards, <laughs> as that wouldn't be honorable, and I would be pissed. <laughs> Why wouldn't that be honorable? You gotta like fight for it and stuff, you know. <laughs> what do you mean fight for it? Like you could fight a blizzard. Uh, I guess you could, <laughs> but. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've seen his philosophy put to the test. <laughs> Usually, you have to have someone that you could potentially kill in the process of dying yourself. That's normally how it works. Uh, well, you 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 could you have to kill someone to be noble. Is that well, well, think about it this way: dying because of disease would not be a noble death, even though you are trying to fight off the disease with your immune system and failing. What's your mom like? <laughs> Are dead. <laughs> she What's did fun? much better at dying hey. than I did. What's your dad like? Also dead. <laughs> I am the failure of my family. You have any brothers? I did. They are also. I'm going to continue this forever. <laughs> yes, oh, and, then, and Beck will keep answering. Yeah. <laughs> and it keeps Great. your mind off of the cold that's yeah. uh, coming around. We're you. trying to be stealthy, you, <laughs> you Are you cold? I could, I could just turn out my flamethrower. No, Captain, turn. give me the blanket. Yeah, just, yeah, just turn oh, it on there. Okay, I'm defrosting now. <laughs> um, it seems this storm is abating. Um, as you guys struggle on, and it's, and it's a brave struggle, you guys have decided to take up conversation about your pasts uh, to keep your mind off. Uh, Twill has decided to chatter their teeth, um, and uh, Captain is just living a good life uh, with his solar armor flaring. Um, and the, the storm starts to subside, um, and uh, you see sort of patches in, in the clouds uh, come through, and you're about five miles out um, when uh, I would like all of you guys to roll a perception check. Your visibility is returned. Uh, it is still snowing. Um, another seven. Another seven. Oh. I got 17. Okay. Perception. I got a natural one. Are you, you're adding your perception, right? Because you, oh, that's right. You, added, you, you don't have that high of a perception. Do you? I mean, plus 13 is pretty good. Yeah, plus 13 is very good. <laughs> I rolled okay. a 4. That, yeah, that's okay. quite good. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I'm very confused because D&D is like plus 4, and this is like plus 13. Start yeah. Yeah. Is. Yeah. What's happening? They're all about Big old numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, 32. 32. <laughs> I got a two. Okay. Because I rolled a natural one, and I get a plus one. Oh, no! <laughs> I was answering Skittermander questions. Yes, so yeah, you guys you guys are preoccupied <laughs> with things. Uh, a, a twill is a chattering teeth still, but looking a little bit better. I think the uh, the warming blanket is over their eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, 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 when uh, uh, a Captain Will Dean, uh, you were the first one to hear it. Uh, it is the sound of a two-stroke engine. Does it, uh, as I listen to it, can I tell if there's like Doppler effect coming my way? Or? Uh, it seems like it is coming from the north, northeast. Coming toward here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems that way, yeah. All right, uh, let's move that way for a minute and try to get out of the way. If they follow us, just be ready for anything. So we're just going to say that this is, this is the terrain uh, that you guys are in because it's the terrain in front of us. So it's it's a nice little it's a nice little rise in the snow, and you guys are over here, where the cameras probably can't see. Look, I mean, no, they can't. Um, so we're just gonna put you all over here. No grid, but who needs a grid? And the sound is coming from over. The sound is coming from. So yeah, you guys are heading north, and it's kind of coming from eh, around in this direction. Any rocks or anything to hide behind? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, there's there's this little rise here. Um, it, it, all the rocks are covered up by snow. Uh, so, not that you could, you know, 
bury yourself in the snow. Yeah, let's say dive head first into the snow. <laughs> it's probably soft. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, Cabby, should I activate the, the thing or no? Or uh, should we just hide? Hold, hold off on it for now. All right. Just wait. <laughs> Do you still have your moat going? Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna try to keep it low. And if if it if it seems like it's getting significantly closer, I'm gonna want to turn it off. Okay. Now, I I have low light vision. I don't know. This is probably too dark for low light vision to be. I, I think it's, I think it's too light out for for low light vision. Oh, so we can just see normal. Yeah, you can see normal. Like like I said, it's snowing, so your visibility is decreased. Right. Uh, but you can you can see pretty normal. So it's not an issue of light. It's an issue of just like uh, obstruction. Yes, mm-hmm. obstruction. Yes, weather. And I'll, I'll I'll have my scope since I'm to- on top of this. I have a good. Uh, not an eagle eye view, but maybe mm. like a, a Bex head view of. Uh, so you want to an aisle under him be looking through my guys. scope <laughs> to also be looking through mm-hmm. things? All right, stay low, guys. I okay. need fan art of this. I'm, I'm <laughs> begging you guys. <laughs> Please. Oh, yes. Skittermander getting a piggyback ride from a Vesk. Yeah. And we're both looking through our gun yeah. scopes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gord, that would yeah. be amazing. We're going to need to commission that if, if you guys can't come. That's a new t shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so good. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna kind of rotate out to the side, um, just to. Get I'm gonna away from stick the with you because I okay, kind of right, call. <laughs> need to. Don't die out there, buddy. Yeah. So we'll get a little pocket and yeah. then try to stay out of their way if you can, but we'll see. They might be coming for us. Hmm. Yeah. So the the engine uh, noise appears to be getting a little bit closer, and then it kind of uh, rumbles to a stop, um, and you can see in the distance. A snowmobile. That's definitely not on camera. Is that not? Oh yeah, that's not on camera. You can put it on the camera a little bit there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit further out than that. It's, it's, it's about uh, it's about uh, five hundred feet. No, that's too far. Uh, about two hundred feet. All right, let's take a look at this old snowmobile. We see it. Hundred feet. Uh, yeah. Okay. 300, 300 would be let's let's say three hundred just to use uh, football terminology. Okay. Because I was going to say two hundred feet. That's going to take me a whole. Round to cover. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, um, and and the uh, it, it kind of r- rumbles to a stop, um, and the pilot uh, uh, takes out a pair of binoculars and kind of starts looking in your direction. Might have been able to pick up a glow. I I, I see someone. Should I uh, uh, slay them without honor? Uh, now hold off for a second. Uh, what does he? What does he look like? Uh, it, it completely covered uh, in sort of furs, uh, Han Solo style. Um, oh, I, real quick before I go any further, I want to thank you, Monstrosity Jones, for the sub. Oh, oh thanks. You're going to be seeing yourself. This might even be Monstrosity Jones. No, this person's <laughs> going to die very quickly. All right, everyone, uh, uh, just hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, thank you, Monstrosity Jones. All right. I'm going to try to sneak around behind him. Okay. And try uh, to get over there. Give me a. Give me a stealth roll. Stealth roll, stealth roll. Ooh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's gonna be a thirty-six. Thirty-six is yeah. good. Okay. So yeah, you uh, you get down low, real low to the full. Um, mm-hmm. And where where would you like to move to? Let me go. Wide around that way and try to get. So cut just him. around this way. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you start to close the distance. Um, the gentleman on the or the person individual on the snowmobile um, puts the binoculars away um, and uh, uh, punches a button on the snowmobile, and uh, a, a a weapon pod opens up from the side and. A barrel of a gun comes poking out, and you punch well, a couple of more buttons. All right. Do we? Is, is, our, <laughs> is our communication still working? Uh, how do you mean? Like, because we have comms, we can talk to each other. You can talk to each other. Yes. So that's still working. Great. Yes, it is still working. Good. Um, uh, so the the I'm gonna give you guys a moment. Can I shoot his mobile? Uh, you can. Uh, I looked at the rules for it too. Oh yeah, for the yeah. for mobile shooting. Uh huh. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to blast this mobile. Okay. Um, yeah. So, okay, you're gonna try and blast the mobile. When when the gun comes out, mm-hmm. it, is is it like 
aiming at us? Like it's um, yes, it is. It is kind of it is kind of searching and it's it, it is elevating to the position that you are at. And he seems to be manipulating something and kind of getting down. I say, okay, hold on tight. And I guess while he's trying to shoot it, I will activate my uh, haste circuit mm-hmm. and like go into anime leave a cool <laughs> right. double image trail mode. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Arms behind. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, just to stay out of the way. Got it. Uh, Grub. Um, I I was just gonna shoot him, <laughs> but yeah. I think I'm hanging on for dear life yeah. at this point <sighs> because he's moving super fast. Yeah, yeah. So, wh- wh- which one should I do? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, wh- whichever one you would like. I mean, it, it, he, uh, he, the platform that you were standing on is suddenly a rocket ship. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I guess cool. what we can do. I mean, you can talk to me like while I'm doing this, but I'm just like, I'll get to high ground. You can get a good shot on them. And uh, I can shoot them now. <laughs> They're gonna shoot us. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm just gonna shoot them. You're gonna shoot shoot the guy. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. I am going to, and I'm so glad I cho- chose this. This is the first time I'm using it. I'm going to summon an ice elemental. Ooh! <laughs> how fun! Uh, like the Pokemon Master that I am. Okay. Uh, so it's a second level spell, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna create a. Uh, it's a second level is a small size. Okay. Uh, so I have a, an ice elemental. Wow. But, uh, I. It's a hundred foot range. Mm-hmm. So oh, plus ten per level, so one hundred twenty feet. So I'm gonna have it appear one hundred twenty feet ahead of me, and I have an ice elemental that I'm controlling. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. It's 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 somewhat short of uh, of yeah. the guy. It appears at about the fifty yard line. Yep. Uh, it's football. So many football references. Football. Uh, so let's have all of us uh, roll some initiative then. How about that? All right. Oh, he rolled well. Um. So I need to roll for the creature also, right? Yes. Okay. Did he roll well? Uh, he I, I probably did pretty good, right? He probably did, yeah, he, he did he did very well. They have, it's a very Did he good get a 32? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, you one got one. Yes. <laughs> Back fast! Wow. Back fast. Oh, oh Back very I got the fast. same as my monster. Oh, good. Cool. That's easy to keep track of. No, it's not, because of the bonuses. Okay, so, <laughs> so Beck... Beck finally making good use of uh, the insane quickness that he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be going first. Uh, does anybody, is anybody uh, 25 to a 30? 25 to a 30, okay. That is when our man will be going. I know, like I said, Ooh. rolled very well. Uh, uh, yeah, 20... you were excited about his high roll. I was so excited! <laughs> but he sucks. <laughs> he does. Uh, 20, 20 to 25. Anybody. Uh, 15 to 20. 19. 19, okay. 17. 17 from a man over here. Uh, you will be Mira today. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> Twill? Eleven. Eleven. All right. That's just that's just how combat is for Twill, I think. Yeah, and likes uh, to act last. And the monster. Uh, sorry, my creature. Mm. Um, so I was looking at the uh, wrong um, system before. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so plus two. So uh, ten for the ice. Ten. Monster. Okay. So he, so the monster goes before you. No, I'm an eleven. You're an eleven. Okay. Cool. Got it. All right. So that is our initiative order. Uh, we are going to start with Beck then. Beck, how far can you travel in one turn? Uh, well, I mean, if I use run, I can travel um, 258 feet <laughs> in a turn. Okay. Because that's four times my move, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to uh, run my movement, which mm-hmm. is 65 right now. Okay. And uh, get... Uh, would I be able to get... So you said he was about 300 feet away, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I can't quite get to the point where I can just plasma cannon him without using multiple, uh, without like double moving or something like that. Um, right. So uh, yeah, you know what I'll do is just uh, I'll move out of his line of fire and I will charge to use the second move and just get, just move like. 128 or 120 130 feet towards him 130 feet but okay. like kind of at an angle so not directly at him just okay. to set uh what's the your skitter man's name ruffalo yeah set ruffalo up for a uh for a good shot okay cool all right so ruffalo. yeah this will get you about to the uh we'll say about to the edge here um you can get kind of to the high ground here that'll get him a good shot on um on the gentleman 
Yeah, and 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 as as we run up, like I hit the place I want, and Beck like throws himself forward and does kind of like a skidding stop to land exactly where he is. Mm -hmm. And Ruffalo launches like flies off his back. <laughs> Beck just catches him and like puts him back on top of his back. <laughs> I'm gonna use my my four bottom hands to just kind of grab onto your head from now on. Yeah. <laughs> so next time you do something I don't know about, could you just Give me a little heads up. I said hold on! <laughs> <laughs> that's a generic way of saying I don't know what you don't know! Oh. I rarely know what I don't know! Okay, I, that's fair. You're, <laughs> you're right. He's like all adrenaline up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, yes, the the barrel of the machine gun uh, that has popped out of the side of the vehicle uh, lights up, and tracers fly out uh, uh, towards, uh, towards your guys' position. Uh, and he's going to be shooting at at the two of you. Most likely, uh, Beck is going to take the brunt of the damage. Incoming! If this does hit, he is at um, he is at a range. Uh, so it's going there's going to be a minus to this roll. Uh, okay. Oh shit! Uh, shoot. <laughs> uh, is that a good for us nice. shoot or no. a good for them shoot? Uh, it's the second 19 I've rolled, so it uh, hits a 29. Oh boy, oh, I mean, geez. that's hits. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, oh wait, no, but it, it, there's a... Uh, shoot, I have to actually look at the rules now. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, actually, it's up here. Okay, so... The only rule is there are no rules. <laughs> <laughs> but that rule negates itself, so there's actually a lot of rules. Yes. Tons That's of rules. That's the core rule. And I, as I have always said, this, this game is a game of rules, and we mm -hmm. always follow the rules. Um, I like rules. Not really, actually. We don't like <laughs> rules. Uh, not seeing it on here. Why wouldn't they put it on here? Crap. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, uh, so it hits a, uh, hits, what did I say? You said 29. 29. Yeah, it, it hits, a 20, hits a 26. Uh, my, <coughs> and this is, um. Is it energy or kinetic? Uh, kinetic. It doesn't matter, they both hit. Okay. Uh, it, it barely hits, well, but it, it matters. Okay. Mm. Mm. Coo -coo -coo -coo. I have 25. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the, the the tracers kind of lock up, and uh, uh, he he walks them into your position, and you hear bullets spraying off your armor. Holy cow! I think like I should probably take a fourth of this because I cover a fourth of your body. Mm. Oh wow, that does that seem Math. fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Unless it's, it's like a hundred or something, then, yeah. then sorry. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. No, basically you're a hat with a gun. I'm a helmet with a gun? <laughs> it's only plus one, uh, so that would be, uh, that was range, uh, so it would be 18, 25 plus one is 26 points of damage. All right. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of damage. To start I'll take six up. if yeah. you take 20. That's Deal? fair. Okay. It's a bracing volley. <laughs> Agreed. Shake on it. <laughs> 26, right? Yeah, 26. I shake with all my hands. All right. Or else it doesn't count. Which It'll works? go off your uh, stamina first and then your hit points up. Oh, it goes to stamina first? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have a billion stamina. Nice. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Kashaw. I'll take all of it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll soak it. I'll take yeah. double. <laughs> uh, I mean, I will. No, make it eight times. Okay, well, we're getting a little crazy. <laughs> Let's slow down. So next up is Will. Just all right. Uh, okay. How close was I able to get when I was sneaking up? Um, you were able to, uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a double move. Okay. So your regular uh, movement is 30? Uh, 40, actually. 40, okay, so you got uh, 80 feet in. You got 80 feet in? All right, well, I'm gonna keep working on closing the distance around the side. Perfect. Okay. So I don't know how close that puts me, probably right around like here or something. Uh, are you just gonna do, just gonna do a, a full regular move then? Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna, since, it, is he operating the machine gun manually or did he just like set an automatic turret off? Um, he, he, he appears to be uh, working a computer uh, oh. in front of him, like a little. Okay, well then he's dead to me. Thing. He's firing at us, he's, he's uh, I'm no longer shooting at the, sorry you did that research, I'm not shooting at the snowmobile. Oh no, that's all right, yeah. I'm you you had an option, it was just an option that was available for you, so. Um, this okay. man's is going down. Mm -hmm. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! <laughs> Alright. Wait, can yes, I shoot him from, from stealth? Yeah. Is this. What is my range? Hold on. Can I shoot him from here? Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, hold on. That's it. Oh, no. I'm gonna be definitely out of range for this. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Hmm. We can still fire this. I can still try, right? Yeah. Might as well give it a shot. Ha! I get it. You can't, like, move <laughs> towards him? 
I, I am still continuing to move towards him. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's like 80 and then another 40 <clears throat> on top of that. Yeah, and so 120, you're about 180 away. I'm like halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whew. Still got a ways to go. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm still going to give it a shot, though. Okay. Gotta, uh, yeah, give me, your, give me your sneak attack roll. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be an extreme long distance. Uh, 23. 23? Um... And that is what would what would be so what is the what is, you know what the range is on your weapon does it have on your sheet? It's like forty. <laughs> okay. Crap. Not great. All right. Um, let me pull let me pull that up. Wait. Sorry, everybody. We will, we'll edit this out of the podcast, right? <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> Every delicious <laughs> rules finding moment. Right. Who's uh, got time to edit podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, right. 236. Right. 236. And uh, while I'm taking this shot, I'm going to ask to, to Twill as well. I'm here. Twill, does that thing block communicators? Uh, yeah. Mm. Now it's time. Okay. If you, I know you already had some time. But I'm gonna, whenever you get a chance. Who's it to run? <laughs> I mean, at him. I mean, <laughs> not away. <laughs> You should, you should summon your sword cane through him, so it hits him in the back of the head. No, it just appears in my hand. <laughs> oh, it's, not, it. it's not Mjolnir. <laughs> not Mjolnir <-esque>. style. <laughs> Those are new. Yeah, new Those campaign new. coins. Big gold ones. They're pretty. Nice. That's very nice. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, that misses. Yep. Well, at least I'm not tricky. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so let's continue around to uh, Garav. Oh, well, that's uh, well. Okay. Is that the sneak attack or the attack roll? Oh no, sorry, you're right. You you haven't uh, yeah you haven't done your right, attack right. roll yet. So give me an attack roll. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. This is gonna work. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's actually a thirty. Thirty? Yes. Thirty hits. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I like it. I like you. Well, is it, what, do I have any minuses to that? Yeah. Right, so, bring? so here's 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 the rule: is uh, uh, character uh, an attack uh, to talk takes myself a out of hitting. cumulative minus two penalty for ra each range increment uh, between it and the target. Okay. Um, so each each. Uh, Forty eighty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it it would be mm, math. Uh, what was the range <laughs> on your weapon again? Uh, Forty. Forty. Okay. So and you were you got to one twenty, so you're one eighty away. Right. Um, so that's uh, minus ten. But my sense still hits. Oh yeah, yeah. Good. I'm such a good shot, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting cocky. All right. <clears throat> Dimaggio. So yeah, it will just be regular damage. That's gonna be twelve damage. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Yeah. Not Great tight. shot. Nice. Amazing and shot. He falls actually. down dead. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm running. You're, you're shooting with a pistol at at, at extreme range. Yeah, blizzard. And you manage yeah. you manage to clip the guy in his shoulder, and you see him <clears throat> rock back, and he kind of <clears throat> he kind of ducks down uh, behind uh, behind the windscreen. On I see it in my scope. Wheel. I'm like, oh, that's why he's in charge. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gets it. Somebody <laughs> gets it. <laughs> my whole team. <laughs> All right, yeah, and it's it's a good shot. It, it rocked him pretty hard. Uh, so, Garof. Okay, so uh, I will use um, my movement to aim, okay. which I get a plus one because I have accurate. Yes, you do. And uh, my gun becomes... Is breakdown mean like I can attach things to my gun and break it down to smaller pieces? Yes, so it's a, it's, cool. an, it's an assassin rifle, so you can Great. you can break it and and so it'll be smaller and Perfect. concealable. I just want, I, like, I like the idea of just like six hands all just yes. like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically just like just building it out to be a sniper rifle because right now it's short to carry around. Uh -huh. I guess essentially like add things to make it longer. Or it's gonna so, nothing on you. Yeah. yeah. So I will uh, aim. Guns so sergeant. I get a plus one <laughs> and then I will use phasing sniper rounds. Nice. With quantum variable molecules. That's good because he has concealment behind his uh, snowmobile windscreen now, so. The round literally bypasses the cover. Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. Uh, okay, cool. So this will be plus 13. You're an experienced enough assassin that you see him like go undercover and you're like, oh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and what's, what, what's the range? People still try and do the range this? Is, okay. Uh, 600. I know where he's going to be. 600. <laughs> 600 feet, yeah. With, yeah. The, with the sniper. Yeah. Okay. So 600 feet. Yeah. I could have shot him yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's terrible! Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, three plus twelve, so only fifteen. Only fifteen? Yeah. Uh, it it is <coughs> a miss. Uh, I actually be sixteen because it's plus one. Because is it a sixteen? Yes. And it's kinetic. Uh, I don't know. 
Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, is it? It's piercing, right? P. It is P. Okay, P. So yes, yeah, so it is P. It is kinetic, and it is piercing, and a sixteen hits this guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that aim really. Works. Yes. All right. Great. Cool. I need that plus. Snipe. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So it's three d six plus seven. Uh, so that is uh, eleven plus seven. So eighteen uh, by passing. Any cover or anything, piercing damage. Eighteen. Yeah. So yeah, you um, you, you get your sniper ah. rifle lined up. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe out. Squeeze. Boom. You see the you see the uh, the, the the bullet leave. There's a blast. Actually, it's silence, so it's a. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's silence. Um, and it does so, phase, so I feel like you don't even see the bullet; it just ends up there, mm-hmm. right? Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. The bullet phases out, and then you, you 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 get back on target just as it phases in, and you see it blow out the back of his head. Oh. <laughs> and he tumbles over backwards, uh, and the uh, machine gun uh, kind of and it just stops, rattles to a stop. Yes, sweet. So boom, headshot. All right. And uh, you guys are out of combat. <laughs> Let's run over there. I blew a spell slot. But no, I saw my, I saw my ice elemental. You still, how long is he sticking with you? I'm trying to find that, actually. Okay. It says uh, duration is only one round. Really? It can't be right. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't seem right. Well, What's the spell? I guess he's not communicating Someone with creature. anyone anymore. So. But that's in, that's in the <laughs> alien archive, right? That, yeah. that spell? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't have that. If it's one round of the sun going around the earth. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, depending on which sun. Yep. Uh, is it one have. round per level? That's what haste says. Yes, it is one round per level, so it lasts two rounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the but per caster level though, wouldn't it be like seven rounds? Is that rounds? per your level or? It just says per slash level, so D. I, I bet it's got to be like your level. Is it's haste, only forty two seconds. <laughs> is haste your level? Well, hate my I get haste from my uh, my overplate, so oh. I have ten charges that I can use every day. Gotcha. Uh, GM, so, you decide. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it's per per level of the caster, so per caster level. So for 42 seconds, we have uh, noise. Got an ice element. Yes. We've got another. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Take it down, kill him. Friendly. Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll deactivate my haste circuit before I use up another use up another. Uh, one of my ten charges, which I just looked up. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, so yes, you 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 slow to a, a regular, massively fast pace. Right. Um, and you close the distance very quickly. Uh, you get there first, followed by the captain. Um, so yeah, as you approach, you see uh, a man with the the back of his head blown out very skillfully by a trained assassin. Hmm. Uh, Damn, nice shot. Wearing very heavy uh, furs. Um, uh, I can't really make out it. Uh, it, it, a whole lot like the, it appears to be human. You could see a little bit of the face, uh, uh, but could easily be a Lashunta or whatever. Uh, you, you you pull the uh, pull the mask down and yep. you see it is it is in fact a human. I take the <clears> coat. Um, you take the coat, Captain. Yes. I'm cold. That's gonna, He's that's done one help. of the Isolenti. Is this a surprise to us? Hmm. <coughs> Can we tell? I mean, do they co- do they turn back after? What do you know about Aslanti there, Ruffalo? Literally nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yes. Well, Should uh, I have not killed him? Mm. I can't unkill him. He no, shot you guys first. Okay. Well, the Aslanti we have run into in the past, the Aeon God, they did not look like what they were hiding by the time they fought us and killed and we killed them. But they Correct. were they were using a device, so I'm gonna check the body for any sort of like hollow skin or some sort of device like that. To mm-hmm. see if... Um so yeah, you look at the body, I'll tell you what you find. I'll tell you what you find. Oh uh, yeah, he's got uh, he's got forty credits on him. All right. Yes. Um, he's a got picture of his family. A picture sure of his does. family, <laughs> including his daughter. Uh, it seems to be a newborn daughter. Oh, no. That's uh, that's adorable. So cute, blue eyes. Uh, she's got her arms around Daddy. Yeah, he head. shot first. So a I picture care. of him at his wife's funeral, holding <laughs> his daughter, and everyone being and a little note that's like, "Hey, we know you're gonna do great as a single dad." Right. Right. <laughs> Proud of you, Daddy. Yeah, scribbled on. We know uh, work is tough to find. This is just a job for you. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> uh, uh, he has a, uh, a a sonic rifle on him, a thunder strike oh, sonic rifle. Cool. Neat. Um, what have I done? And a fang blade. Ooh. Which are both things. Uh, I, I don't know a whole lot about them other than that this person has those two things on them. Let's look up the stats on those. You can keep saying other things. But. Yes, uh, and he has reloads, uh, so a high-capacity battery uh, for the, the sonic rifle. 
Um, and he is wearing a ceremonial uh, officer plate. Ceremonial <laughs> officer plate. But there's yeah. nothing that suggests that he's uh, in dis- he was in disguise or anything. Like there's no illusion around him. No, no, no. It doesn't. It, the, 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 nothing melts away uh, uh, other than you know his his face. Captain, um, my ability to identify you fleshy creatures is uh, somewhat lacking, but. It does not seem that this is an Atlante. Is it possible that your humans are working with the people we are trying to assault? I don't know what's possible anymore. I, I don't know why he would be, unless... Well, they lost contact with the base. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not still in control. Maybe he was just trying to defend the base? He could just be base patrol also, and I want to check him for, like, like an access key or a card or something like that, and I also want to check the snowmobile for that, because, like... There's got to be a way into the facility, and if we could do it without, you know, blowing a hole in the door, so much so the better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. It's, oh, sorry. No. So he's wearing steward gear then, or no? Um, it, it, it's not explicitly a steward gear. Okay. It, it's just sort of a uh, generic uh, hard weather or heavy weather gear. Hmm. Cold weather gear. Heavy weather. Maybe he's just out checking out the tri-state area. What does he use? What do, What do they use to communicate? Um, he's got a, He's got a comm on him. Like a, like a, just a walkie-talkie, or mm-hmm. is it like something? Oh, okay. No, like it's, it's it's like a yeah, it's like a short range sort of uh, calm. Okay. And uh, the, it's it's still still active. Okay. Um and uh, yeah, you you look on his person. Um, you didn't you don't find any uh, identification cards. Um, but the snowmobile uh, does appear to have uh, some sort of RFID chip. Cool. Can I clone that into our communicators? Absolutely. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, just give me, just give me a computer check. Oh, I would love to. Don't roll poorly. Could you remind me what the the gun he had was called? Uh, it is called a, a Thunderstrike Sonic Rifle. Okay. So this is gonna be plus seventeen. Okay. Um, I also have my data jack, which I think gives me a plus one on top of that. Nice. So plug it into your data jack. Okay, so I rolled a two. So it's gonna be a twenty. <laughs> a twenty. <laughs> oh, Dan. Uh, yeah. After all that bragging. Uh, as well, far no, as... I needed all that bragging. <laughs> as far as you know, you think you have done a pretty solid job of cloning uh, this data chip. Cool. We should still take the snowmobile with us. Well, uh, I think maybe we should send the snowmobile on its way, maybe, or oh, just in case for the chip. You don't think you got it? I think so, but we could also probably ride it for, like, the last couple miles. I think we'd probably be better on foot just for the last little bit. But if, they, if this, they're expecting this guy, they may open the door for us. Mm. I thought the snowmobile was RFID locked or whatever. I just don't want to walk anymore. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to set the body back up on the snowmobile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm going to lash the body to it just real quick, and I'm going to put the foot on the gas pedal, and I'm going to aim it off that way a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to put the gas and just let him go. Oh, that's a clever ruse, my okay. friend. I like it. Uh, yeah, you do that, and it uh, pretty soon it disappears. Careens off a cliff. Snowy <laughs> mist uh, uh, with the, the, the guy and taking his daughter's hopes and dreams. I'm sure she'll be fine. She'll be fine. You know what? Bye-bye, new friend. He's got, like, his his mom is still around, so she'll probably raise him, you know, and he'll, someday the daughter's gonna, it's like, hell, what was my, what was my dad like? And, you know, tears. I feel like he was a terrible person. (laughs) 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 He just opened fire without even identifying his target first. Some would say he was a holy man. (laughs) (laughs) There's nothing he loved more than having an intact skull. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, yes, the snowmobile uh, races off into the distance, leaving you guys alone with... Uh, the RFID code for something or other, um, and oh. a big patch of bloody <coughs> snow ground. All right. If we act quickly, we may be able to follow where the snowmobile came from before the snow covers up its tracks. Good call. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Beck, give me a survival <coughs> check to follow the tracks of the snowmobile. Uh, I got a 20. Not natural. Wow. Okay. 20, 20 is good, yeah. Uh, so, because this is in snow... Survival is like one of my... Only skills. I have very few skills. <laughs> For someone uh, that wants to die, you really like to live. I know, you've got to try hard. That's the whole thing, and I'm too good at it. <laughs> but it seems like you're just doing it for, like, the fun of, like, the thrill of the being haunted. I don't know. That seems kind of dumb. Look. You know? I didn't make up the religion. I just follow it. Okay? Bl- blindly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It worked out for the rest of my family. But they're all dead. I know! 
Those lucky sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, <Wait, wait>, jeez. <laughs> I'm 78. No, I'm actually very young. <laughs> Their life cycle is very small. Oh. I'm 7.8. They burn out so quickly. Just bright stars of Skittermanders. <laughs> the Skittermander that burns twice as bright burns half as long. We don't have to burn at all. Don't burn us. I like that a Skittermander could do the uh, hear no evil, see no evil, say no evil all by at the same time. Oh my god, you're right. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a fun image, yeah. <laughs> cool. More fan art that we can mm-hmm. humbly request. Um, okay, so uh, you guys, uh, Beck picks up the tracks of the snowmobile. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Um, they, they actually seems to have been doing a circuit. Um, so you head to the west if you wanted to follow the uh, snowmobile tracks back. Okay. Um, I, I say we follow the snowmobile tracks at least for a bit and see if we can find anywhere that it like deviated that like would give an idea of where it came from. Mm. Um, I mean, I guess we know where it is we're trying to aim mm-hmm. in this whole thing, but still, if we can find any sort of like outpost or base. Yeah, it'd be nice if we knew what all the players are, because we still don't even know what's happening here. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't know where this person came from. He is not who we expected. Although, we did find those stewards whose clothes were taken earlier. Do you think perhaps this could have been part he could have been part of the group that destroyed that transport? Hmm. This guy? guy, That guy? This guy. (laughs) The, the, The guy who you put on the so yes. hilariously <laughs> left their <dead> body <laughs> driving off. <laughs> dead things cannot drive. <laughs> Thank you for appreciating my work. Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, he's pretty nondescript. He had ceremonial plate, but he wasn't really steward. He wasn't. Hmm. I don't know. Let's uh, let's follow for a little bit, but we don't. Let's not spend a lot of time, but let's follow him for a little bit. All right. So yeah, you you're able to follow it uh, uh, for probably about about ten minutes. Um, you know, before, before, because it is, it is still falling. So, um, falling for about ten minutes, and and yeah, it seems that this person was out on a patrol. Okay. Um, uh, you get to a point where it does start to head back north again. Um, uh, it kind of doubles back um, and starts to head back north toward where you presume uh, is the base. Uh, the coordinates and your, you have a little, a little GPS thing that, that gives you point the coordinates. It's like, okay, this is this is where we should be heading, um, and that's when the tracks are starting to fade and the new falls. Start, this new snow is starting to cover things up. Maybe following what we can of these tracks, or at least the direction they came from, can lead us to some sort of garage entrance, something we could break into that's not their front walkway. What's uh, what's how far is visibility here with this snow? Um, you probably can see about uh, about five hundred feet or so. Oh, still not great. Yeah. No, but through a sniper scope, I mean, can you like scout ahead a little bit? Oh, well, it's not magic. It's just some glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we, we we run the risk of getting off track if we go trying to follow invisible, you know, snowmobile trails. So maybe we should just head in. Mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Basically, any terminal we can find yeah. to get a map, get a anything. Plus, it's probably good if we've gone in a circle around the base. Presumably, we're coming in from a different angle than they would have thought we were if he'd already communicated. So, at least we're a little off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> yep. Let's go. All right. So, you guys uh, start heading toward the base. Uh, how how close do you want to get? You just want to get eyes on the base. Yeah, eyes on. Okay, eyes on cool. Uh, so visibility improves a little bit. The snow uh, starts to starts to slow down, so you can say uh, see about I don't know a thousand feet out, and you catch sight of a tower Ooh, that is sticking up out of the ground, uh, and several lumps. That may or may not be yet, but they probably are. Uh, oh my dice! Nice. And so, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. So, oh boy. This is kind of Wait, generally what you see. <clears throat> this is why I came for the Legos. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, sweet so. Legos. Gar- Garof was like, I'm busy Tuesday. And like, there'll be Legos. And like, <laughs> see I'll then, cancel fam. my plans. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're able to kind of close the distance and moving somewhat stealthily, you can get a pretty good view of what the base looks like. This isn't Legos! What is, is this? this? It's Legos? 
Is it? Yeah. yeah. Legos has a lot of things. Yeah, Legos yeah, got really like, cool. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Wow. I know these are. This is the brand new. That's so cool. Uh, the brand new. There's like set. no pegs on it or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, I don't mean to be that guy, but the plural for Lego is just like. Oh God. That's so good. <laughs> no, the plural is Lego bricks. Lego is the name of the company. Mm. Yeah. It's about whether it's countable or uncountable. Slices of pie versus pie. Uh, I'm Pies. a Playmobil guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Blocks! <laughs> Playmobil. So, did I get everything set back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you are coming from this direction. This is north. Um, this is and the garage area, looks like. This is the garage Which area. Uh, Will, you are familiar with these these lumps, right? These lovely lady lumps, um, <laughs> but it appears to be a little bit bigger than what you remember. Seems that they have done some work uh, since you were here last. Added on a wing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, because when when you were here. Um, it was it was just this, but they seemed to add it on the garage, and there's another little section over here that you don't recognize as well. Is the marker part of that, or is that? Where's, where's the marker? Over there. Oh no, the marker is okay. nothing. So this is the legacy stuff. Garage is new. This is new. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And these are guns, correct? Uh, no, that is a comm tower. Or this one, sorry. Uh, those are guns. There are more guns than you remember. Many guns. Um, yeah, if, if you're able to kind of uh, uh, glass it on your scope, uh, this appears to be sort of an anti-vehicle slash anti-aircraft, a um, uh, couple of anti-aircraft weapons. They're spaceship weapons, essentially. Okay. Uh, and those over there appear to be anti-personnel. Well... If I copied the RFID chip, it should mark us as friendlies. Right. And you copied the RFID chip, right? I did. Okay. That is, we'll assume we're snowmobiles. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we could make our entrance through the garage, but what, uh, acting like snowmobiles. But if they sent one out and then four come in, aren't they going to be like, where did three more snowmobiles come from? Maybe if we all huddle together, we will look like one single snowmobile. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Trojan snowmobile. Vroom, vroom. This was the plan. All right. So, <laughs> well, you took our car away from us. <laughs> the cheese Bodomobile had to, had to be free. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I could try and sneak in and give you the green light. Ah, sneaking's good. You think you can get past those guns, though? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, unless you don't think I can. <laughs> no, I, I think I it. can. I don't know. Did they, does it look hard to get through there? Did it look like... Do I feel like I could get past the guns sneakily? Um, it's hard to say what sensors they have right. up there. Uh, you got to train assassin, so mm -hmm. this assassin knows a thing or two about uh, keeping hidden from sensors. Uh, it is... Light is light snow, um, but you know, it's possible. I do have the signal jammer, also. Captain. Yes. May I have a word with you? Of course. I, I, I step a couple feet away and try and talk quietly, but it's still pretty audible. <laughs> um, Captain. Mm -hmm. Ruffalo. Skittermander, and how he has been useful so far, and I like him. He likes guns, and I can't dislike someone who likes guns, but. Right. We don't know him very well. Well, you might want to keep it down just a little bit, Beck. Right. <laughs> we don't know him very well. Oh, you're right. And it, I'm sorry. I'm not good at talking quietly. You're bad at whispering. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, Captain, yeah. he did show up right as we were making this assault. Now, I don't think my instincts say that he's part of the Aeon Guard or anything like that, but we don't know for sure. We just should be careful if we are going to trust him as a forward scout. I mean, you're absolutely right. His timing is awfully uh, convenient. Yes. Hmm. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. And we have no way of knowing if the man who attacked us was really going for us, if, or perhaps if that he was we going after Ruffalo. Uh, yeah, that's true. He was taken out too quickly for us to find out. Yeah, yeah, by Ruffalo. Hell of a shot. I mean, I helped. I mean, we all helped. <laughs> I got it close. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But team effort. I did. <laughs> there was a nice hell of a. But still, all I'm saying is that we cannot afford this person to trust too quickly. All right, maybe I should uh, try to sneak in then. You know, that way, keep him close. Your call, Captain. I'm simply giving my security opinion. 
All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, Beck. Hey, shiny one. Do you want to die honorably too? No, no, no. That's all. All Beck. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna live. Um. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to die honorably? Sure. That sounds nice. Hey, he wants to die honorably. Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, let's go get him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, as far as I can tell, we've got just these guns here that are personnel guns, yes? Yeah, those are the anti-personnel guns. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, that is the size of the hard points. All right, what's the plan? Do you trust me? Well, I mean, trust is something that's earned over a long period of time. Uh, it's not that we don't trust you, it's just the Aslanti are known for shape-shifting, so it's hard to tell who to trust. Okay, I, I don't know much about them, but uh, I, I, I live here. This is my home, you know, just down there, that town you came from. Uh, it's called, hold on a second, I remember it. Hold on. You take Leah. <laughs> that's where I live. That's my home. If they come and invade this planet, like, that's... Oh, my people will die. My mom. My mom's in town. I'm taking care of her. She's sick. Does sound as though he is deep water deep, as you say. What's your favorite thing about Nuticlia? Um, I really like the food. My mom used to have a restaurant there before she got sick, and she used to make the best uh, kouf buns that you could ever find in town. Kouf buns? They're pretty good. Yeah, you've never heard of it before. Yeah. It's a, it's a Skitter Man specialty, probably. Oh, it's good. Uh, maybe she'll make you some if uh, we don't get invaded by aliens. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. All right. Yeah. Deep water deep. D deep water? Is that a common saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a new Ticlia. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it, it was it was a sort well, of. Well, you can read the room probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, but like I didn't know if like I should know that. Well, I, I, I it was it was a rallying cry of the rebellion uh, oh. that Will was a part of, oh. and that the Scooter Banders didn't participate in because that kind of wasn't their jam. They just kind of wanted to do their own thing. This is Scooter Banders don't seem to rebel. <laughs> They're yeah. just like, all right, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, that, they're, they're hard people to motivate. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like I get it, you know. But, but but the rest of them don't, uh, and it's hard to convince them. So maybe maybe if I do some good here, I can convince them. You know, I can convince them. We gotta fight. We gotta fight for what's ours. What's everybody's? We all deserve a chance at this. You know. It's true. We need I everybody. I like this guy. Mm -hmm. I like you too. <laughs> Hug. We're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hmm. So it's playing cap. Think you can get in there? I can get it done. You got your card? My what? Your uh, your tag for the uh, off the snowmobile. Oh yeah, the doohickey. Yeah, I got yeah. it. All right. And I've got the backup with the yeah, signal you, jammer. You were able to clone him an additional copy of yeah. the RFID chip. But I've got the signal jammer, which can cover yeah basically the entirety of the. So base be ready with that. Yep. Uh, if you want to be ready with computer. Oh, I'm ready. You can uh, train on that gun just in case. Yeah. How far out can you guys position yourselves? Um, can we, we, we can see the, uh, anti-personnel gun, right? Yes. Um, could we identify it, like, with engineering or something like that? Uh, yes, the, yeah, uh, give me, yeah, give me an engineering roll. That's a natural 20. Boom! Natural 20. So well, 35 I'll you, I will tell you exactly what you were looking at. Uh, because it, they're, these are turrets, so they're kind of uh, they're kind of inside, uh, so you're really only seeing the barrel of the gun. Mm. But just based off of uh, the barrel, and using your intense uh, engineering knowledge, you were able to tell that... Where the heck did it go? Uh, it is... The one on the left is... I remember just off the top of my head that is a medium machine gun. There it is. Uh, it's a medium machine gun. Uh, the one on the right is a light stellar cannon. And what is the range on those? That's really what I want. Uh, the range on the uh, sorry, it's a it's a medium machine gun. So the range on the medium machine gun, I just had that up. Let's see. I think it's. Machine gun medium, sixty feet. Okay. And the stellar cannon is thirty feet. <laughs> Okay, so I relay that to the team uh, to basically let them know what the range is. Obviously, you can shoot further, but anything 
uh, within that range, it's gonna have a better chance of hitting. So, All right. what do I want? A hundred feet at least. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, the range of my um, range of computers a hundred feet. So okay, yeah, I gotta get like hundred to ninety feet away. Cool. Yeah, let's stay right okay. right in that pocket. 90 yeah, to, ninety to one hundred feet. Do you guys uh, uh, attempt to approach stealthily uh, to your position a hundred feet out? Might as well. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, why don't you all give me stealth rolls? And it's also probably worth it for us to spread out a little bit. Like have maybe like twenty feet between us as we're approaching. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as well, wherever I am, I would be centrally located, so I could hit the widest radius with the cover. And you sure? Do you know what you're gonna do once you get inside? I'm just thinking if it does have like an area of yeah. effect yeah. thing it can hit us with. Then. Yeah. I gotta take down those turrets so we can all get inside. Mm, take down. The, uh, all right. Do you? Can you hack? Uh, uh I can hack it. With, with my a gun. gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that might work. Unless you have a better idea. I think that's that's I solve problems. Work. Well, if you can get in undetected, then we can also probably get in undetected using the same code. So once uh, once he gets in, I can At least we can tell if the chips work. Yeah. Or at least if you could like if you can get in and find any sort of guard who's like stopping that particular door from getting in, let us know. We can go through there. And then We'll be in. That sounds like a good plan. I can do that. Yeah. By the time guns going on, are going off, we should all hopefully be inside already. Copy. Mm, unless it's a very quiet gun to the back of just one guy's head. Right. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. I mean, fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So everybody, give me a stealth roll. Okay. Right. Stealth roll. Oh no! I got a nat one. I can't oh see. really? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, uh, is is uh, in this uh, game is okay. a skill roll like. Uh, a nat one mean failure, or is that only for attacks? Because um, like in D and D, a one plus something is still that skill. Right. And my stealth is plus nineteen. Right. So technically, I still rolled a twenty. Yes. Dirty twenty. So I'll give you that dirty twenty. Okay. Cool. But so, I didn't know if that was different in this game. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, it, uh, I, I don't generally do uh, fumble rules just because I don't like them. Okay. Um. But uh. But yeah. Twenty. Twenty is not a super great stealth roll. Sure. So yeah, but it's not I will still take yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty one. 21. <laughs> it may not matter anyway. I I'm got a 10. You got a 10? Yes. I got a 30. 30, okay. Ooh! So 10, 10, 30, 20. Did you get Did you get a 40 or a zero? I got a 21. Oh, you got a 21, okay. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's just 10, 20, 30. I, oh. I was, we were looking uh, for increments mm. of 10. Yeah. Uh, and I knew ah. it wasn't going to be a 40, but 21 is good, okay. Um, well, I rolled sure. an 18, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comparatively, you were more, sure. more stealthy than I the got assassin. A, I got a 9. You got a 9. Yeah, I was with the wrong. I have a plus 8 in stealth, and I have a plus 9 in stealth. I wonder if we're stealthy enough that this might matter. <gasps> you still have one? I still have one. I know. Oh, cold. Legacy. Well, since we're still kind of far away, I don't know. His might be the more important stealth. Well, right we're not. Now. We're not in range of their turrets, and the snow might cover us a little bit already. So maybe. Yeah. This. This is just approaching the hundred feet hoping. marker. Yeah. yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Whoa! Well, yeah. They could shoot us to death. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah! Uh, don't get my hopes up. <laughs> well, but I mean, if they shoot us out here while we're just standing still, that's kind of a boring death, right? No, uh, but we're like trying. It works. Oh uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> we're trying. I wouldn't accept it if I was your mother. Oh, oh, oh. Well, my mother is dead. <laughs> right. well, we established this. <laughs> yeah. well, my mother wouldn't accept it. It's a good thing for us that uh, uh, Mira and Sebastian are recruiting extra crew members just in <laughs> <Yeah>. case. <laughs> <laughs> the backup crew. All right, so you guys take your positions uh, on on a bit of a, uh, a a little bit of a hill um, where you're able to kind of uh, uh, see down. Uh, you will recognize the entrance. Uh, the entrance being, you know, right here. Uh, it is concealed. It, because it's been snowing, the, the whole base is kind of like covered up, but there's a depression that you can tell leads to the door, which would be the entryway. It's and of course the two, the two, sorry, the four turrets are, are sort of uh, sticking up above ground. Um, the snow has been cleared away from them, and so you can clearly make those out. And so it, it, is, it is a difficult approach, and, and you can also see the depression that leads into what you assume is the garage. Uh, and so you, ma you make your way over to the garage. Uh, the turrets don't seem to be active at the 
moment. At least they're not like they're not like tracking back and forth like you would expect in a turret or like going up and down. Uh, and so you guys are able to uh, somewhat stealthily uh, get into with about a hundred feet. Um, you get to about a hundred feet, and then you really put your you put your stealth moves on. You get down low. You've got all <coughs> six hands kind of padding along gently. Um, and you start crawling forward. Um, and as you do, um, you see one of the turrets, the um, the stellar cannon kind of um, looking around. Okay. Um, and there's, there's a little camera kind of screwing around. Uh, it doesn't seem to have spotted you yet, but it is definitely looking. How, how close did I get before that happened? Uh, that is about halfway there, about 50 feet. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to... Uh... Oh, hey, you know a resource we have here we should have? Like, maybe lent to him? Or oh. had you used? <laughs> 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 or like, <laughs> invisibility ring? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, invisibility <laughs> ring? That's silly. There's no such thing. <laughs> I press a button on my invisibility cloak. <laughs> <laughs> and just and to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> that's a real thing. Yeah, that's a real thing. Yes, yes. 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 love that uh, you just friggin' have. It all. <laughs> uh, yes. So it's ten rounds a day. So I'll do mm. as much as as quickly as I can to get to the door. And okay. Then, and then turn it off. I assume it can't like shoot straight down. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? When I get to oh. the garage door, I assume the turret can't just. Yeah, down. I mean it's it, it's pretty close to the the the, the top of the ground. Right. Um, but it's usually but, yeah, a long distance. Like it can't like turn around right. and and shoot down the door. You would imagine. So, but you're heading toward the garage, right? Yes. So uh, I'm gonna get to the garage and kind of dig. So in yeah, the, snow. The, 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 it does have coverage on the garage. Like it is. It, uh, sorry, these ones don't rotate, but um, they they are able to kind of get um get a shot at least at, to the top of the garage where it, where it descends. Does the door um, open when I get close? So yeah, you 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 get there. And and um, the garage door uh, starts to open. Okay, so I will scamper inside as soon as I can. Okay, I'm only three feet tall. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just look around. I'm still yeah, invisible, as, but not for as long. As you as you do, um, there so you are. <laughs> because you didn't roll great on your stealth roll, uh, there is you do kick up a little bit of snow uh, when you are heading inside. Okay, um, and you see inside of the garage. Uh, there is a this sort of quad or this you know sort of motorcycle looking thing with a tread um, is sitting over there. Uh, you look to your right and you see two guys uh, over there uh, playing a game of ping pong. Um, could, you, could you grab? Could somebody grab? Uh, He's got long arms. Yeah. yeah. Um, or at least they were playing a game of ping pong until a door opened up, and then they Metal Gear Solid. Uh, no <gasps> ways. Huh? What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, can I dash to this little like nook here? Oh uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just gonna go there and hide, and then let everybody know. Like, ah, I'm inside. There's two bogeys. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can turn down these turrets. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do they look like a slanty? I don't know. Uh, one of them is wearing a uh, a an officer uniform. Uh, a steward officer uniform. Okay. And the other one uh, looks like he's wearing mechanic scrubs. Okay. And they're both human? Both human. Okay. Uh, so, break! So, yeah, I, I get inside. You get inside I and. I hide in this corner, and then I, I guess I turn off my cloak because it doesn't last that long. Yeah. Man, if they are aliens in disguise, the playing ping pong is a pretty good, yeah. like, like yeah. disguise move. They're like, what is this, <laughs> this deep water game? Okay, uh, so the mechanic. Doesn't hear anything, uh, but the um, the officer wearing the uniform uh, hears voices, and a garage door is opened, and he goes, "Should hit the alarm!" Oh shit! Oh. Uh, 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 I pop off the uh, signal oh, sorry, this jammer. One's, this one is supposed to be over here. Um, and uh, where is the alarm? Can I see it? Or uh, is there uh, something on him? The alarm in this room uh, is over here uh, in the sort of the storage area. I'm gonna shoot that, I guess. You're gonna shoot that? Okay, cool. All right, well, I pop off the signal one. jammer. You pop off the signal jammer? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, that, that's signals also... signals get jammed uh, yep. in your position. Does and that I mean do... our signals also get jammed? So I have to choose the type, so I'm gonna choose like broadcast, because that's what the alarm would be. Okay. We can make a check to still communicate, but right now our comms are down. If if the if the <laughs> alarm is on a wireless connection, then yes. And if it is uh um, if it doesn't have any defense, I mean, it, it, it's a wireless signal jammer. You can't jam if it's a wired connection. Right. Oh, okay. 
So <clears throat> we're not sure if it's going to work. So I will probably still shoot it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let them know that. Uh, I'm going to take a shot because I'm going to get the alarm, but uh, make a distraction or something. Uh, I'm going to try to get these guns can down. Can we hear uh, him? Oh, yeah, can we hear him? Uh, oh, you have to make a check to get it. Oh, I have to make a check? Well, he yes. did his before you did yours. Well, I don't know. Well, it's true. I wouldn't know to yeah, fire it off. You would... He says it, so he says it, and then I do it, and then we have to make a check to communicate through it. All right, uh, All right. Twill, take this. I'm going to toss you my invisibility ring. No, to take it oh, back. No. I throw it back to you. Are you going to throw it back? I'm wearing the, the dead guy's coat. Uh-huh. I'm going to activate my hollow skin and look like him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> head wound and all? No, not head yeah, yeah. wound. Oh, got it, got face. it, got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I have to make a disguise check, but do what you need to, because I still have to close the distance, and okay, you probably so, fire. Okay, so, Garab, let's, let's the two of us roll okay. some initiative. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, that's cocked. No, that was 19. <laughs> yeah, but I'll just get there to the regular 19. <laughs> uh, 28. Oh, oh, no, you rolled a 20, and you beat him, you son <laughs> of a bitch. Wait, you roll a uh, natural 20? Yeah, I rolled oh, a natural wow. 20. Oh, wow, and I beat you. And you still beat him by one. Uh, damn, all right, cool. Uh, uh, wiki dicky. What? So you, yeah, you can't really, it's on, it's on the, calls me. the interior wall here. Uh, so, you, so from where you are, you can't exactly get a good shot on it, um, unless you uh, re- walk away from your concealed position. Um, I guess I have to at this point because, well, so uh, this, hmm, because I'm pretty short. Can I get on top of these tires and do that and shoot the, uh? Um, I mean, it, yeah, like I said, it, it, it's on this interior wall. Oh, it's on this interior. Yeah, oh, like I this see. right here. I got it you. It is on the inside, uh, on this corner right here. Uh, you saw it as you were coming in. In that case, I'm gonna have to shoot the guy instead. Okay. Because he is visible. Okay. Hang on. Unless there's like other, there's a bunch of things on this paper that I haven't looked at, so <laughs> I apologize. There might be better things I could be doing. Oh wait, what is this? Switchblade. Anti-alarm kit. <laughs> what does this do? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have this? I guess I have to use my laser pistol because I can't use a sniper <laughs> rifle in here. Oh, I guess it's an assassin rifle. I took off the scope, so it's just a regular rifle. Yeah, you have a pistol Great. and a rifle. Great, okay. So do you want me to just shoot? Uh, or it, is, uh, something if, that, if that's what you're gonna do, uh, if you wanna shoot this guy, you can shoot this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this guy okay. and hopefully Take him down before the other guy knows. It is silenced, I guess, still. Uh, uh, so oh. 16 plus 12. Okay, that hits. So 28. 28. There's a hit, there it is. Uh, so I rolled uh, 10 plus 7 piercing. 10 plus 7, so 17? Yes. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, oh, actually, no. 17 is this much. Uh, so yeah, uh, a, a silenced uh, a gunfire shot uh, rings out and you tag this guy right in the chest. Okay. Um, and he stumbles back uh, against the table. Uh, the bullet has traveled through his body and blood covers the, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the white ping pong table, which is white for some reason. Wow. Uh, it just is. I'm going to jump out and be like, okay, right, stop, <laughs> nobody move. And he screams, ah! Shut up! Stop talking! Stop! <laughs> stop it! You're so loud! Uh, the mechanic uh, uh, dives for cover over here. Um, and uh, the <laughs> the officer is uh, fumbling for the, the his sidearm. Excuse me, we're under attack! No, we're under no, attack! Don't make me shoot you, please! Don't. I don't want to kill you! <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and and that's what that's what they do. Uh, let's okay. let's go uh, around here. And you guys on the outside, uh, what do you do? We don't know what's going on, do we? Um, do you? Well, I said he, he everything up alarm, till yeah. I, I said I was going to shoot uh, the alarm, so I did shoot something. Mm-hmm. Right, and then and, you and then the you signal. jam the signal. Yes. I don't know if like that means that we uh, can't talk. So yeah, you guys, you guys hear static, and in order to overcome that, they need to like. Yep. What do they do? Uh, it is a uh, fifteen plus the jammer level. So computers are engineering of a sixteen. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Um, if you toss the ring back to me, and I know that you have a plan to get in there, yeah. And I turn back, fast lizard time. Uh, does my ring, right. does my ring work with the jetpack? Ring work with the jetpack? Yeah. If I put the ring on and go invisible, can I jetpack invisibly? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, that works. <laughs> I can stack. The silent angel of death from the skies. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Then uh, fast lizard time, and I'm gonna jetpack in with the ring. Okay. All right. Uh. This isn't, this isn't going to be subtle, Captain. That's fine. Let's get it. Let's just get in there. That's right. You guys are totally going to close the gap way before I am, too. You're so. going to be like, 
Stop those guys. <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 are we waiting for any sort of... Nope, that's it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how much, wait, what's the distance? Uh, uh, you were 100 feet. 100 feet? Yeah. I can close that without the haste circuit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. If I run, you do four times your, uh, your move. Yes. But... I think that works fine. Four times your move, holy cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah, that's fine. I'll just run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, hooked. Uh, <laughs> I see you blaze past me, and I'm like, okay, I mean, I probably don't need my disguise now, because you're no. just going to get there. So it's like, all right. Does it up your AC <laughs> if you're running, though? No. Okay. Yeah. It. Yeah, because I get figure if you're dodging fire, it would help. But if it doesn't, do I think running it actually it. hurts my like dodge and stuff. Sorry, I just had this pulled up. Yeah, but... You know, you have to run in a straight line. Yep, I gotta <laughs> run in a straight line, and it's I gotta like have it can't be difficult terrain, but I can just do oh, it. Uh, page two fifty eight. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. All right. Okay, cool. So you make a you make a break um, as you as you leave your cover. Um, the turret that was kind of uh, looking around kind of sees you and and locks on you um, and uh, kind of winds up. But by the time it's ready to fire, you are already inside. <laughs> so. and I, I do kind of like a cool slide on the snow for the last bit of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like land in Apex Legend style. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> First, remember, remember, I am blocking wireless. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All wireless connections are killed. I mean, I said broadcast, but it's okay. Broadcast. Oh, sorry. What, what do you mean yeah. broadcast? Well, it says What's here such as radio or wireless. So I was just like, yeah. Oh, so like, yeah. Okay. But, all, all radio signals are also. But the, they they have a base, so they, yeah, they don't yeah. have to use yep, wireless. <laughs> They've got wires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Old school. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, will uh, ring jetpack keep it low? Kay. Just get into the trousers. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Does not track you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you are... I guess I'm just running behind them now. <laughs> I took off first, but they just <laughs> totally lapped me. It's just shooting uh, glass all over again. <laughs> and, and so, sorry, what, what were you using for concealment again? But nothing. Nothing, okay. <laughs> My plan was to impersonate the guy we killed, mm, but... I could maybe mm. do that. Okay. But they're, but they're going to get their head fight of me. going on. Yeah, they're going to get their head of me, so <laughs> yeah. there's no reason uh, to activate that. So yeah. I'm just pulling up the rear at this point. Okay, um, <laughs> so, so yeah... Uh, the, the, the turret then tracking one miss, uh, looking for target, looking for target. Oh, it's found a target. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's not good. No? Why no? Why no? Because so. no los dos? Because uh, there's no poor visibility because of the snow. It's just it's <laughs> just a it machine it's gun. Fine. It's going to be fine. I am squishy robot you magic. You're camera. You're so good. Yeah. So, it might not even hit you. It might even hit you. Uh, it'll it'll hit a twenty one. Uh, that's a miss. Hey! Yeah! So this is because I got new armor. <laughs> last, you know, last time. So this is this is this is a great moment where you guys are you guys are all in the trench and you're like charge and then rocket lizard, rocket man, and you're like squill. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes pew, pew, and you're like ah, yes. and and and, and the, the the tracers shoot out, and snow is pew, 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 kicking up. It's a, it's a very cinematic, and you go diving into uh, the garage as the, the tracer bullets follow you in, and uh, you crunch to the bottom in in safety. Um, and you see the uh, you see Ruffalo uh, holding a gun. You see a lieutenant with his chest blasted open, uh, and that is all you see. So you guys are all at the garage, at the lip of the garage now. <laughs> um, if somebody could help me by grabbing those things. <laughs> just for the record, we had a plan. It just went horribly awry. <laughs> Fred, it was going fine. Why are you here? What have you done? They heard the guns go off. We lost communication. I, I didn't do anything. That wasn't me. <laughs> Somebody's jamming our signal. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, you're all inside. Uh, the lieutenant is, is scrambling for his his um, uh, sidearm. Um, is this the guy I shot? Or the yeah, other guy? the guy you shot is the if lieutenant. If I'm still invisible, 
I'd like to get kind of next to him mm-hmm. and put a gun up to his head and then pull the ring off and, and then talk to him, hopefully. If, um, if we're not engaged in, like, active fighting. Why don't you guys all, uh, people who have not rolled initiative, why don't you give me an initiative? Oh, right, right. Roll? That's right, we are. 16. Yeah, party. 16? That's it. Not bad, not yeah, bad, fast. Well. That's going to be some fast. He's come, they're coming in hot, you know. Right? <laughs> coming in hot, coming in hot. I'm ready to fight! 32? 32 is pretty fast. Pretty fast. That's pretty good. I'm going to put you over here. <laughs> but All right, fast. Not Quick fast. Okay, and uh, uh, Will, Mr. Will Dean, what did you get? 19. 19, 19. okay. So slower than these two. Now my 16 is not looking so hot. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't be sad. Um, <laughs> I know, it's still very good. Come on, don't be sorry on yourself. Okay, so the first then to act would be Beck. Beck, you see what you see right down here. Okay, so one guy's like down, right? Uh, no, he's not down. He is he is um, uh, stunned. I shot him non lethally non lethally through the chest. Okay, so just clean, clean. Yeah, it, nice that. and clean. You avoided all the vital organs. Yeah, well, probably hit a couple of vital organs, but those can be fixed now. But you turned off his hit alarm initiative. <laughs> like that was the plan. Yeah. Um, okay. But he is he is screaming bloody murder. Uh, as is, you know, with his lungs that are rapidly filling with blood, um, <laughs> oh, as is the thing. mechanic uh, who is hiding behind the ping pong table now. Oh no, we see his workstation, and he also has a daughter and a wife who died recently. <laughs> well, it's actually his son. Uh, uh-huh. Appears to be about like nine years old. He's holding the glove. Uh, it was a it was a great picnic that they were. You know, they were. It's a little too convenient. I think these are just sob stories they made up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, yeah, you gotta have a complete story. What's uh, your daughter's name? <laughs> Part of the uniform. <laughs> yeah, so so I, I will basically just like once I'm in there, mm. just like whip my gun out yeah. and like hold it at them and be like, "All right, everyone, calm down." And then, I'll, I'll, I, what I'll basically do is hold, and if they like run for the uh, the alarm before mm. Captain Will gets to do anything, I'll fire at them. Okay. Okay. No. Got it. Uh, so yeah, you're hold, holding your action then. Yep. Um, sweet. I'll do the same because he's right next to him, so I don't want to shoot the, the captain. Okay, so you guys, you guys all train your weapons on on the lieutenant then. I guess I'll train it on the other guy. Okay, if Beck, ha- I'll, I'll trust Beck to get the, the guy I've already shot. Got it. Very cinematically, uh, it's, it's a little laser dot, and a little laser dot yeah. appears on his forehead um, as 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 he is peeking his head up, and he's he, he's got his own he's got his own gun. He managed to recover it from behind uh, mm-hmm. the ping pong table. Well, I'll, I'll, be smart, and you'll get to play table ball real soon, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the lieutenant who was who was scrambling for his pistol um, realizes the jig is up and and puts his hand out, and uh, he he says uh, he says, Jason, Jason, drop the gun, man. And Jason, the mechanic, uh, has a gun. If I had a gun, I would have a gun, but I don't. Uh, so I'm gonna use my fingers. <laughs> and and he puts down the weapon and stands up. And and he's like, Lieutenant, we gotta, I gotta protect the codes. And the Lieutenant's like, ah 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 ah. I'm gonna pull off the ring. And then tattoo gun it, the gun into my hand. It's very impressive. <clears throat> cool. Hey, uh, what was your name again? Jason. Jason. You, this is Jason over here. It's Jason. You guys are stewards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you if you really are stewards, you don't have anything to worry about from us. We were sent here. What? <laughs> What's the name of that general again? It was General oh. uh, Spark. Spark. Something Spark. Life Spark. Life Spark. spark. That was general. Good. General thank you for that poll. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I wrote it down. It wasn't. <clears throat> You were sent by General Livespark. How do I know that? Do we have badges, right? He gave us some things. Oh yeah. yeah. He gave us little emblem thingies, right? Yeah. I don't remember what they were, but we like basically said, "Can we get in?" Uh huh. Yeah. So so you've got <laughs> you've got essentially what are what are like uh, little little ID cards. Uh, that don't have badges? your picture on it, of course, but badges. <laughs> badges. You, you need, need no <laughs> stinking badges. <laughs> so, and yeah, you have, you you each have a uh, sort of a, a steward identification card right. uh, that is that is key to your person saying that this I, is I, a I trusted person. That. Don't worry, you're with us. You're <laughs> I also don't have one of those. Oh. That's true. Beck doesn't have one. Uh, of those. I'll slide of hand it into my hand. Ooh. Go ahead, look. You can grab it. 
Check it. <coughs> what? Are you okay? Uh, I, I shot him. <laughs> Uh, That's what the giant hole in his chest is for. I I can see your injuries if you promise, you know. He, he, he Mm -hmm. very, very gently takes out, like, a a little comm unit, slots the card in. Uh, Okay. What about those two? They're with me. Sorry for shooting you. You already hit the alarm, and we couldn't, like... Yeah, Twill, can you see him real fast? Yeah, I take out the med kit. And, like, we're cool? Let him take this care of you. You look like shit. This is a hell of a way to get in here. Well, look, we were, we were told there might be some hostile resistance, so we had to... We had to come in a little hot. But... I'm gonna I'm gonna do a medicine check on mm-hmm. him because I've got uh, a thing now. Okay. Also, um, we had to kill a guy on a snowmobile. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, hold on. So honest. <laughs> and we sent so him off into the tundra. Uh, okay. Uh, why would you say that? <laughs> why would you say that? What? I thought we were saying why we had to come in and all hostile and stuff. Well, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> I mean, yes, we were shot at first, okay. so. Um, That's true. You hear footsteps in the hallway, <clears throat> and you see a insectoid head peek around the corner. See a bunch of strangers with guns. Be cool. Hello. You gonna tell your boy it's all right? <sighs> <laughs> uh, blood spits out from his mouth. Oh, stop being dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look right. And the insectoid head disappears. Oh, that's not good. All right, uh, Beck, keep an eye on that door, will you? <sighs> Are we reverting the plan? To kill everybody? Not yet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna not heal yet. this guy. <laughs> I think maybe let's not do that until we're sure that they're not all gonna come in guns blazing. Yeah, maybe we could throw some of those tires in front of the door just to block it up for a minute. Until oh, we that's good. So, Twill, you're over here, yeah, tending to this man. Yeah. Uh, where is everybody else going to be at this moment? I rolled a 19, by the way. I, I like medicine. my tire. Oh, very nice. Okay, uh, you're yeah, you're able to 13. kind of plus oh, thir- plus 13. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. So you're you're able to uh, uh, apply pressure to the hole in his chest. <laughs> Take um, that deep ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, Actual medicine. Yeah. He he he's he's going to need some further help to deal with the uh, a punctured lung. That's okay. I have um, the med kit. It can help uh, stabilize. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. He has two lungs. Why is he being such a baby? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so yeah. There's there's a there's a little uh, a little tool uh, that that you you put up to the bullet hole, and it it, it, it kind of runs inside and sort of uh, uh, sprays flesh and material to sort of uh, uh, stop up the bleeding. It's a nice emergency measure. And so I, I also pull out a band aid, and it is absolutely a Watchtower themed band aid. Wow! On, on on the wound. It's not one of your sponsors. No. Uh, okay. No. no. It's just a general <laughs> character. Mm-hmm. You know. That's very good of you. <laughs> cool. um, so yes, yes. Once, once, once the uh, once the tool has been inserted into his chest cavity, and he just kind of lays there, just believing uh, while this is going on, uh, you put a nice watchtower band aid uh, over his chest, and his uh, uh, he is still coughing up blood, of course, um, but there's no new blood being introduced into his lungs. So well done. Thank you for stabilizing that grievous wound. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hand him a, a ping pong paddle. <laughs> he's, he's, the the table is covered in his blood. Uh, this is no time for table ball, Ruffalo. <laughs> okay, I know we gotta get inside. And Jason is standing there next to him. You see this man's. Uh, uh, you see the name tag, and the name tag says Jones. Uh, and in smaller print above that, it says Monstrosity Jones. Ooh. Monstrosity Jones. So this is Why Lieutenant. Call him Jason. Lieutenant Monstrosity Jones and Jason the mechanic. Oh, Jason okay. the mechanic. got it. Yeah, Jason is the mechanic. Um, Monstrosity Jones. So as predicted, um, the garage door starts closing, and lights start flashing. And an alarm starts ringing. Is that your alarm, uh, monstrosity? Yeah. Yeah, that's the alarm. Is there anything we can do about that? Uh, you talk to these guys? Yeah, I'm gonna need to override it. But I can't, I can't talk to them. My comm's not working. We can fix that. Yeah, I mean, jig's up already. 
Let's go ahead and... Well, no, I'm going to keep it on, because oh, right. I don't want people communicating with each outside other inside the, the base, right, right. But, but we can patch through. Okay, yeah, it's patched through. But isn't the big flashing light like a big communication inside the base? It is, but, you know, less specifics. Okay. And communication outside the base we would like to avoid as well. Mm. So, oh, wait, do I have an alarm here? Lack of communication seems distinctly to our detriment right now. Mm. You think so? Yes. It's making it hard for us to coordinate if we're not in the same room, and it's stopping this person from sending an all-clear message. All right, Cap, what do you say? Drop it. Okay. I turn it off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so he, you tell him that the signal should mm -hmm. be clear now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, y you tell him that, and <clears throat> he gets in his calm and he goes, he, he gives a code. He's like, "This is this is Lieutenant. All clear. All clear. All clear. Turn off the alarm." <clears throat> and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the alarm is still going. Did you lie? They think no, that, no. Uh, they think that I'm compromised. They're yeah. not going to drop the alarm. This is a secure facility, facility, guys. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to send you in there to talk to them. That way, I mean, obviously, we're not keeping you at gunpoint, right? Right. And we just hold on to Jason for a minute. No, I say no, we send Jason. He's <laughs> Jason doesn't have a hole in his chest. Captain. It is my professional opinion that if I was a security officer on this base, I would not allow for negotiation. I believe they might come in guns blazing, and we need to prepare, be prepared for that possibility. <clears throat> well, uh, how, 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 do, how, how do you know they're not those, you know, as anti? We don't know how to tell. You could ask him. Aslanti? Yeah. Are you ask him? What do you know about what do you know about the Aslanti? Uh, c quite a bit. Because you are one? No. Okay. No, no, no. See, he's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no Aslanti here. Why did the base lose contact with the rest of the stewards? <coughs> uh, yeah. About two days ago, we, uh, uh, we lost the, the antenna in a storm, and uh, we sent out a uh, squad of guys to, uh, to let them know that we're going to need a replacement. Squad of guys in... Uh, and I'll describe the type of vehicle that got scrapped way out. In like an ABC. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that's our long range, uh, our long range vehicle. I don't think they made it. What do you mean? We found the wreckage on the way in. It's blasted. Have they returned to the base? No. Who did it? Hmm. We don't know. We found evidence of the weapons used to do it, and they came and stripped the crew of their identification and clothing. So what? if they have returned to the base, it may be that those amongst you. Or not would they appear. Who were the two sent out? This is the garage. Probably they left from here. What do you mean? The two sent out? No, no, there was, there was five. Five? Yeah. And there were, yeah, yeah. The, well, there were five bodies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, uh, so you know the five who were sent out? Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. This, is, this is my soldiers. Okay. Who you say are they, they didn't make it? Where are they? Well, well, are How any far them, out are, are they? Are any of them here? <clears throat> no. I don't think so. What we else? found that would wait. How far away did we find it? It was like uh, it, was it was about a hundred miles out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were they? Uh, I'm gonna. What was their? Uh, do you remember what their uh, species makeup was? Uh, yeah, it was a. Um, uh, we had an uh, Eoxian, uh, uh, a uh, two humans, um, a Lashunta. And um, a. This <clears throat> is the last one I can't remember. <laughs> but it's correct. That's right? correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks with our information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys carry uh, uh, identification. Can you, from here, see if any of those five people who you sent out are currently within the base? Uh, we haven't had anybody in the base since they left. And so no one has come back since then. No, no, we were waiting to hear back from them. They've been gone for a while. We thought they just were staying in town. Captain, this interrogation is is useful, but I feel we are sitting ducks here. Right. I mean, you're right. Uh, how, how can I show them this badge so that they can know this is real? Uh, it's not going to mean much. You could have just picked that off of us. All right. Is there a position where we could hold something important hostage, some way that they could not attack us? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. What? 
What we need mean? to find a way to de-escalate the situation. It's gonna be tough, man. This is, this is a secret base. <laughs> Did you check the antenna? Does it look like it was uh, damaged naturally, or is there any <clears throat> chance it was sabotage? Oh, I haven't seen it. No. Oh. But what they told the me it was... Oh, he's he's the, the vehicle mechanic. He's, he doesn't work on comms. Oh. Can you take us there? To the antenna? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could. Uh, well, uh, can we open up a line of communication with your people, or are they not going to talk to us? You can try. It's worth <laughs> a shot. All right. Uh, and he's like, uh, okay, um, okay, uh, l listen up, this is, this is... Uh, Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Jones, um, I'm going to be handing over the con to our visitors. I've been told that they are from, they've been sent by the general, um, from, from Deepwater. Uh, so I'm going to let you talk to him. <coughs> and he hands over. Hello, who am I speaking to? I think you're talking to everyone. <laughs> this is Rathangle! Rathangel, hey. Rathangel! Rathangel, sorry, my mistake. You hear a buzzing in the background. <clears throat> hey, uh, we, this is all a big misunderstanding. We need to uh, take this a step down, if you don't mind. We're just here to help. We were sent here by General Livespark to see why your communication has stopped. We heard gunfire and screaming. Yeah, there was a little gunfire and a little screaming. From a little person. He, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean anything bad by it. We were just, uh, we were attacked on the way in here, so. Clearance code. We attacked by whom? Attacked by whom? We were attacked by uh, a man on a snowmobile. What happened to him? Is he one of yours? Yes. He drove off. <laughs> <laughs> did you return fire? Is he all right? <clears throat> I, uh, he, we did return fire. We were defending ourselves. Visibility was pretty low, though. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's also <laughs> on me. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. So you've attacked our men twice now. We, well, we were How do I know this isn't a trap? How do I know you're not Aslanti spies? We have plenty of identification, and we could ask you the same question. We were under the assumption that this base would be full of Aslanti. We're going to broadcast codes from the uh, general that he gave to us. What? Broadcast codes to who? To you, to, to verify our bona fides. What? What I codes? Like, I have this identification card. I don't know if this will help, but I can... Yes, we all have identification cards. You could have gotten those off of dead bodies. Well, this one it presumably has my name on it, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> well, this one has my name on it. How do I know what your name is? Uh, I have, have three forms of identification. <laughs> 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 do you have your birth certificate and your social security <laughs> card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your brother's name? Uh, Brandon. Was he stationed here? Was he? No. No, he, he Unlikely. Was, he well, was, you don't know necessarily, but... Because there's probably a personnel file on him or you. Isn't there like a directory that you can look up your name? Aren't you like important? Yeah, that's guess that's true. They might know who I am. Yeah. They might have a file on yeah. <laughs> I used to work here. <laughs> Hold on. I mean not, not, not while the stewards were working here, but Do you have any do you have any old databases left behind from the uh, resistance? This is I'm not comfortable with this conversation about what we have and what we don't have. All right. Listen, here's what we can do. You throw down your weapons and you can come over here and we can verify your identification. Okay. Captain, this is no way you, to you enter a military <laughs> base. You should have been given authorization and clearance. Mm. I, I, I do like the thing where I lower your hand, like... All right, please hold. You, <laughs> you and I have, have, have our credentials, but also... And I make my staff appear, and I point to your tattoo. It's like, we can go in unarmed. Yeah. I say we give him this show of faith and... Yeah. It, okay, Captain, yeah. They, they, may have, they have very likely been compromised by the Atlante. But there's probably only one or two at most, right? Maybe? I'm just guessing, though. We'll keep, we'll keep comms open, and if Up you... Up to hear... five! Oh, that's true. Beck, we'll keep comms open, and if you hear us say... Hyper Snake Juice, that's the code to come in. My Hyper Snake Juice? Oh, it's good. It gets you messed up. <laughs> Sounds gross. I'm going to extend this small show of trust. Do All right. Do come with you? Yes, please. Okay. And uh, you both stay here. Okay. Again, sorry about your uh, lungs. Sorry. <laughs> Be ready. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so I uh, I drop my weapons, or I, I leave them with Beck, because he'll know what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Kill things. <clears throat> That's what they're for. So you just point this, and you just pull the... Yeah. I get the gist. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> so I'm going to... 
I'm going to leave my arc pistol and my needler You're pistol. Doing an o- opening scene of Star Wars style. And my semi-automatic pistol. It's a lot of guns. Yeah, it's a lot of guns. And I got one more too. Wait, can I have them? <laughs> well, you can hold on to them. Okay. Yeah. I have one in each hand. <laughs> can, should, I, uh, should I bring the cane or just uh, if just, need be? It, you can have it whenever you need, right? So. Yeah, but it's, I, it's cool. I want people to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try not to alarm anyone. Okay, all right. Fine. <clears throat> oh. All right, so uh, the two okay. gentlemen, okay. or uh, no, no, sorry, Twill and Twill and Will, looking totally unarmed. We're gonna go ahead and put your weapons here. Mm-hmm. Good luck, Captain. Thank you, Beck. Good luck, new friends. Oh, do you want to take those other guys with you? Which that? You want to take the other two with you? No, I think it'd be better if it's just the two of us. Maybe they might say how. We shot them in the well, chest. About, we might still need uh, leverage. But at least take the one that's bleeding. I feel bad about that one. Yeah, let's take let's take him in and just hold on. Jason, sure. you want to take uh, again? I'm sorry, Jimmy. Take the lieutenant, <laughs> Johnson. Monstrosity. Monstrosity. <laughs> no, the other guy. Oh, Jay- uh, Jason. 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 But I'm gonna call him the wrong name on purpose. On <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> it's 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 a mind game. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the upper hand. Uh, so yeah, Jimmy's gonna. <clears throat> Jimmy stays with the the dangerous lizard and the dangerous skittermander. Then Jimmy's down. All right, Jimmy, just hold tight. All right, We're n- no one's gonna hurt you. Oop. All right. So, so you guys round the corner and you see exactly what you see. Uh, you see uh, people sort of ducking around a corner, uh, uh, leveling what appear to be uh, rifles at you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are three of them. And at the very end of the corridor, there is what appears to be a um, <coughs> a uh, sentry robot of some kind. Which Buzz is this Lightyear. guy? Yeah, so it's Buzz, Buzz Lightyear as a sentry <laughs> robot. I love you. your movies. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, the insect is the one who kind of takes the lead here. And the insect kind of beckons you forward. All right, coming through. All right. Is that their actual race name? Um, <laughs> no, they're no. Sheeran. No, sure. it's a Sheeran, yeah. Cool. I just uh, didn't know. <laughs> Sheeran? I should, I should have been saying, should have been saying insect. Sorry, it's probably very insulting. If you have any Sheeran out there, I yeah, apologize. The bald, the yeah. lizard. <laughs> <laughs> the robot thing. Uh, Confront uh, the apes. <laughs> so yes, uh, the, the, the Sheeran uh, uh, beckons you forward. And I am a washing machine, I'll have you know. <laughs> you come forward, and what do you do? <clears throat> Take us to your leader. <laughs> Who's He's, in charge here? Well, he is. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so what do you need him to do for this to be okay? I, I, I don't. I don't know. Look, here's. Or, well, I'm gonna. Can I get a card out of this pocket here? Yes. Same. Same. Slowly. Same. Yep. Slowly. This, this is the identification I was given by the general. And he, and he, and, he, and he takes it out, uh, and uh, he takes yours, and he slots it, and he slots it, and he's like, okay. So I have your names. I have your steward identification cards. Who gave these to you? General, General Live Sparkle. Sparkle. General Sparkle. 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 <laughs> it's been a couple weeks, sorry. Yeah. How did you meet with the General? And why didn't the General send steward forces? Well, we have some footage, actually. No, I, oh yeah, I, uh, I have a little, but not the conversation about that. Uh, what, what do you have? Well, because we snuck in with the camera crew. That's right. We were part of a... Uh, uh, a friend of ours was giving an interview with the general, which was how we were able to speak with him. He told us that you lost communication, wasn't sure what was going on, and uh, we expressed our concerns uh, about possible infiltration, and he sent us as independent contractors to check it out, hence the uh, uh, identification. There was a little bit of a mix-up with who you thought we were, and we had to defend ourselves. We apologize. We did stabilize uh, Lieutenant Jones here. He can he can attest to that. Like, look at the Band-Aid. Sorry! <laughs> Lieutenant Jones what? points to the Band-Aid. Uh, and he's going to need ongoing care, but we... Basically, we tried to stop it before it became fatal. The General said that you guys have uh, <clears throat> disinvested in this base. What? Or are about to disinvest in this entire planet. Yes, that's true. Well, he didn't have the resources to send, and we were interested in defending this planet, so... So he's handing over this missile base to... you people? Frankly, yes. <laughs> he did say if we came here that we could have access to the facility. <clears throat> this is highly unusual. I, I, I would need to speak to the general before... But you can't because of the... Well, we, we'll gladly try to fix your comm tower. Well, we've we've looked at it, but um, 
uh, Alex over there said that it was busted beyond repair, so. Alex, may I, may I speak with you? Alex? Yeah? Hey, <laughs> hey bud. Um, so what's up with the tower? Uh, are we, are we, so are we just okay with these guys coming in, or? <laughs> I don't know what else to do. We can't check with the base. Well, we're trying to help you do we're that. We're cut off from contact here. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, sorry. <coughs> okay, so do, should I put my weapon away then, Corporal? Yes, put your weapon. <laughs> Everything's fine, all right? Everybody, can someone turn this damn noise off? <sighs> and so, yeah, um, and so, what did I call him? What was his name, Alex? Alex. Yes, it's Alex and Alex. Jason and Monstrosity Jones. Alex, Jason, monstrosity. Oh yeah, this sounds like a starting five. Uh, uh, Alex, Jason, monstrosity Jones. I know monstrosity Jones. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, Alex uh, holsters his weapon um, and uh, sort of punches in a key, and the robot goes back. Wait, no, actually, he's in here. Sorry. Um, and uh, everybody puts their weapons away. Uh, uh, things seem to have de-escalated, and Alex steps forward. Uh, okay. Ch Corporal, should I talk to him? Yes, t t tell him about the damn thing. You can take him up and show what happens. Maybe they can fix it. I don't know. Could uh, our, it's could, really pretty busted, Corporal. Could, could our compatriots come in? Now, granted, they do have weapons, but we will tell them to come in unarmed. I, I guess so. This is... Let's this is forward. really highly unusual. I, I know, but we're here to help. All right. Let's work together. I mean, it's basically all of us against the Islanti at this point. I suppose so. Uh, uh, Melmar, can you attend to the lieutenant, please? Take him to sickbay. Um, yes, uh, right away, lieutenant. Uh, please follow me. You know the way to the sickbay. <laughs> <laughs> Do all Vesk sound the same, Tyler? Jeez. <laughs> no, I there's like the a lot of subtlety in the difference. You can't tell the difference between me and Whoa. Tyler's yeah. Vesk oh, voices. Oh, you're right. No. Wow. It's all yeah. sound the same. Oh, it's a Vesk voice. That's on me. All right, that's Ooh. on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vesk viewers. Unbelievable. 90% of the language is is in the, the guttural sounds that aren't part of English. <laughs> It's just like that. So he takes he takes the captain over to sick bay, uh, or sorry, the lieutenant over to sick bay, and uh, a, a private private uh, what the frick is his name Alex. Private Alex steps forward and is like, uh, uh, "Yeah, you guys you guys want to see the uh, the comm tower, right?" Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Beck Ruffalo, we're we're uh, everybody chill. We're good. All right, come in, not guns blazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing table ball with Jason. <laughs> oh, I have three guns, and in one hand, just having a fat. Um, he's still, he's still like, a little too stunned. Yeah, yeah. There's still blood on the table, so it keeps getting patches yeah. of blood and not bouncing properly. <laughs> it just sticks. Hey, without the blood. Spattering. <laughs> okay, uh, so, uh, Alex, a little, little unsure, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, takes you to the front door, uh, uh, takes you out. <clears throat> and Captain, if this Alex is the one who confirmed that their communications were done, he's like a candidate. All right, buddy system, guys. Everybody always be with another one of us, all right? Okay. <clears throat> so who's going with Alex? I am. And who's my buddy? <laughs> <laughs> my buddy. Uh, I'll go. You guys be all right. okay. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna buddy up with uh, with poor Jason? Oh, well, poor Jason. He didn't seem to be as into it as I was. Yeah, he wasn't. He yeah. was he was half heartedly hitting it back. Yeah, I, I think because we he should, thought I might kill him. We might want to see if one of these guys in the base can go along as well. If there's anybody, because okay, say for example, we get up to the tower and Alex is like, oh, "I'm an Islanti, let's fight," and we kill him. Then it's red alert again, right? So maybe if we have two of them out there just in case. That's a good idea. Better, That's right? very smart. <clears throat> All right. I worry about having too many of them in the same place. Right. If we get it incorrect and multiple of the ones that we have put together onto the crew are yeah. slanty. Just send as many people as hands I have. I can handle that. All right. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I like him too. I like him too. <laughs> <clears throat> but I sure, play. yes. Let's so be on guard. The two of you then. Two of uh, you and Alex and maybe one of their other guys if they're Jason. Okay with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know his name. Alex and Jason. 
Um, we can send. Uh, 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 oh shit! We sent Jason. <laughs> Jason, sorry, yes, Jason. Jason comes comes along. Come on, uh, new friend. Let's comes go. Along. Uh, uh, so yeah, Jason, Alex, and the four of you guys make your way up to uh, what is what is this kind of stanchion? Um, it pokes up above. Uh, it, it is it is concealed. It is uh, it is bright white. It, it matches the snow around, <laughs> so it's hard to see. Um, but you can see that it, it shoots about thirty feet up into the air, and it's gonna you're gonna have to climb up the uh, the tower in order to get there. Treachery. <laughs> Cap, can I borrow your jetpack? <laughs> you know how to. Oh, you know. It's how to fly. it's in your armor. It would take some time. Oh, yeah, okay. oh yeah. Right. I can uninstall it. I can climb up there. <clears throat> Although I wouldn't really know what I'm looking at. Hmm. You can. Yeah, you, right. yeah. I you're can. gonna you're gonna want to watch your step here. It's it's pretty icy and pretty so, scary up there. So they're going up. What are we doing? We need to normalize things and communicate with these people inside the base, probably. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, um, I I want to kind of feel out the uh, well. I mean, he's the lieutenant's incapacitated, pretty much, right? Yeah. So the, the lieutenant is recovering from his wounds. So it was the colonel, the, the other guy who was uh, uh, a corporal. Corporal. Sorry, did I say colonel? I, I think corporal. you said corporal. I'm Shit, pretty sure you said yeah, corporal. Yeah. What's corporal. his name? Uh, it, is, it was Corporal uh, R- Rathandel, I believe, is what I wrote oh, down. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. You said that earlier. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't remember the name that I gave to the Vesk. I didn't write it down. Bad GM. Anybody remember? No? I don't think you said it. Uh, we can you give him a new name. The, the, the Vesk. Oh, the no, you didn't, give him, you didn't give him a name yet. We'll call him Korth. Korth, cool. You have many names. <laughs> Do I? Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I only, I only have one name under. Why is it not? Is it not updated? Do we have a bunch of no. subs that we don't know about? Oh no, you guys! I'm so sorry. All I have is Monstrosity Jones. Get a post it. Get a post it. Did I lose internet or something? Do you have to press a little check button to no, finalize there, edits or anything? There. Do you want a piece of paper? Uh, Do you want to text him to Tyler? Yeah, I, I I don't see him. Take a photo <laughs> and text it to Tyler. They're in my Slack too. Oh, there okay. we go. That also works. That'll well, work. looks like some names are gonna change. Yes. <laughs> Give credit where credit's Oh my God! There's so many people. Thank you guys oh. for all this stuff. I feel terrible. Uh, yeah, because I mean, look, it, it only says monster. You'll be the the person. Yeah, verifies. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Our communications broke down. So. Do I, do, do I have to like hit this check mark or? No, it should just update. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, right? oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. There was like a check mark that I had to hit for some reason. Wow. All right. Okay. Technology. Oh, boy. Look at this. Shylithia. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, there's going to be some name changes here. Hmm. I was wondering why you were giving everyone like regular names. No, <laughs> I was I I was like, oh, I've got a monstrosity Jones, uh, which is a cool name, uh, which is why I go to the Lennon. So the uh, the Sheeran is not called Rathandel. Okay. Rathandel, honestly, that's a terrible name anyway. Uh, the These Sheeran, were all code names they were using for fun, and now they're yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. let's tell you our real. Names. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll tell face. you the real name of the the Sheeran Corporal. <clears throat> uh, it is Corporal SF Giants Forty Nine er. Yeah, yeah. SF Giants Forty Nine er. What's up? Let's kill him. Um, the uh, the gentleman mechanic uh, who was in the uh, who was in the garage previously Jason previously Jason no longer Jason is now Shylithia. Oh. Maybe that's his last name. Jason Shylithia. Jason Shylithia. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Excellent. But it is uh, it is no, private private Shylithia. Um, and the, uh, gentleman, uh, sorry, yeah, this is another gentleman. Uh, they're, they're all men. So terrible. Um, <laughs> they're not all men, though. Uh, this person is, uh, uh the, the Sharon is a female. Okay. SF Giants 49er is a female Sharon. Kind of hard to tell, uh, from <coughs> first glances, but, um, SF Giants 49er is a female. Uh, Shai Lithia is, who is that? That's the, oh, Jason, uh, Jason, the, the human mechanic. vehicle mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Let me write that down, just so I know. <clears throat> Um, and Alex is not Alex. Alex is J.P. Beastman. J.P. Beastman. That's a way better name than Alex. <laughs> I would have I would have given J.P. Beastman a different a different voice, but uh, you know what are you gonna do? I'm J.P. Beastman. <laughs> J.P. Beastman. When you invest with J.P. Beastman, you know that your money is safe. Because and we have Beastman. <laughs> the Vesk is no longer Korth. Your money is safe with Beastman, Beastman, and Plots. <laughs> <laughs> the Vesk is now shooting from the crit. Ooh. All one word. Actually, it's three words. 
Um, Hi, shooting from the but crit. it's pronounced shooting like from shooting from the, from the crit. crit. Shooting <laughs> from the crit. Yes. There's no, there's no from in there, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shooting the, shooting crit. the crit. Shooting the crit. It's even <laughs> saucier. They're uh, they're a chat show, I believe. It's a fighter chat show. Oh, oh very cool. nice. Yeah. Shooting the crit. Shooting the crit. Yeah, I like shooting that. Shooting the crit, the best. Shooting the crit. Mask. Shooting the crit has taken. Shoot! Shoot the crit! This is this is going to be a lot more difficult than remembering. So, uh, shooting the crit has taken Monstrosity Jones to the sick bay. Uh, just to recap uh, what's going on, mm-hmm. SF Giants Forty Nine er uh, is sort of uh, holding down the fort. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Shylithia and and JP Beastman have gone to the antenna uh, to review what's going on up there, uh, and we have uh, two more uh, subs that have come in. Uh, from Butter Panda 888 and BSB Care, so thank you guys both uh, okay. for your support of this channel. You're lovely. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Um, and we will get you. We will get to you guys when we have been introduced to new characters. Yeah. Instead of um, doing finger guns, I just did clicky thumbs for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> clicky thumbs. You play video games. Yeah. 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 Very That's nice. How you shoot people on me. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so. Apologize for that, and I apologize to you guys for missing all those delicious, wonderful subs, and thank you. Uh, so, where did we leave off before I got all off? Right. That little scaling the tower. So, and yes, and you. Then. Yes, you. You were scaling the tower um, with. <laughs> JP Beastman. I need to keep this open. Yeah, Charlithia. JP Beastman looks at the towers. I. Oh yeah, it's 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 dangerous, but you know you want to you want to climb up there. Uh, feel free. You got a rope or climbing gear or a no, we, or something? No, <laughs> we, we don't do that around here. Why not? It's, oh, it's, it's only a couple hundred, a couple thirty feet up in the air, so that's fine. You'll fall in a nice soft snow if you fall. What mm-hmm. was the problem with it? Is it broken or is it a, is it a, a software? Well, yeah, uh, storms around here get pretty bad. Uh, we had a, a heck of a storm uh, come through here a couple of days ago, and... Uh, it just uh, just just whipped off the uh, whipped off the transmitter up there at the top, and I uh, mean we don't we don't carry spare parts, so that's no, that would make sent... sense. Of course you don't. Well, we sent the boys back into town. It's a very very specialized piece of equipment, so uh, we sent them into town to to get a new one from the uh, from the base, and so. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna scale it. All okay, right. up, up you go. I got you covered. All right, so uh, give me an athletics check. Thank God I put a couple of points in that. <laughs> you oh, no, yeah, plus two. Yeah. Uh, yes, because it, it is, yeah. you know, it, it, it is snowing, and it is slippery, and it is icy, and... That's going to be a four. <sighs> okay, uh, roll me a 2d10. He like, takes one one climb up. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. I didn't fall from that high. Are you sure you don't want me to do this? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I have six hands. Ladders are hard. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, you get. Wait, just wait. Zero eight. Oh, sorry, not not a percentile. So eighteen, right? No, two d ten. Oh, I, I see. Six and an eight. Uh, six a, and six a two. And a two. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so yeah, you get uh, you get about uh, eight feet uh, up. Uh, when your hand reaches up and you think you're grabbing, but you lean back a little too far and it completely slips. And this hand that you had here uh, was also grabbing onto something icy. And with the increased strain on here, this also slips. Sorry, I just watched uh, Free Solo. Uh, And so I'm imagining this happening. And uh, from a lofty eight feet in the air, uh, you tumble backwards into darkness and land on your back with a thud, taking no damage, but looking quite silly. Ow! How's it look up there? Uh, you all right? You uh, all right there? Yeah. Did you I'm, fix it? I'm gonna try again. <laughs> okay, again. here. He, he, yep. he reaches down and, and pulls it. you up. He's like, I, I can go up there if you want, uh, if you need me to come with you. It's... Will it make it easier? Well, probably not. I'd rather go in front of you. I don't want you falling on me. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, I start climbing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me give me, uh, give me another athletics check. All right, here we go. Anything better? That's gonna be a twenty-one. Woo! Hot go. damn! Yeah. Okay. I go to extremes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you just, 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 and you start climbing. Well, I know to avoid that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Runs. Exactly. <laughs> you skip the icy rungs, and you yeah. only go for the rungs with no ice on. Them. <sighs> Smart. Uh, and you manage to uh, get your way all the way up to the top. All right. And you get a look at the uh, the array, and the array seems to be busted up pretty damn good. Can I tell if it is from storm damage or if it looks like it's some sort of a uh, sabotage? Give me an engineering roll. Okay. Sabotage. 
Yeah, but... 22. <clears throat> 22? Yes. Boy, it, it is it is hard to tell uh, with a 22, um, just because it <clears throat> is... Like, it could have been just somebody up here uh, uh, shaking it and, and, and twisting things. Like, there's no obvious, like, signs. Of, like, there's no explosion. Right. Um, so telling the difference between uh, somebody, like, intentionally snapping something off with their hands and the wind snapping something just with the force of wind, right. it, it, it's, it's hard to say which one of those it was. Um, mm-hmm. But you can tell that it is definitely legitimately broken. Right. Um, and it's the and there are parts there are parts that are just missing <clears throat> right and I, I apologize if you said this before it's mm-hmm. the uh, it's the terminal up there that's what's causing the thing or is it literally like the top of the antenna has broken it's, it's, or is it a combination of the two uh, it is it is the array so uh, so yeah we have we have kind of a, uh, uh, this this here and so you there's supposed to be like a little thing on the front here okay um, and that seems to have sheared away Okay, and um, is missing now. Um, so I basically like you know work my way around to kind of like give myself like a seated position uh-huh. on the outside. You Let's know, just put on. you up here because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and like I kind of want to like make sure I have like a little bit stronger footing, kind of to like take a good look. And I want to see <laughs> that's great. Uh, <laughs> and uh, okay. I, I basically want to see if I can do Wonderful. sort of like. Uh, like a almost like a MacGyver, like you know, patch it up kind of with things that I have slash you know what we're working with kind of yeah um, like an override yeah you can um, uh, g- give me give me another engineering role just to see if this is something that you can even fix using okay. using your expertise okay this isn't something I could like take twenty on because we've got a little bit right you know what let's take twenty on that yeah okay. um, uh, yeah so while you're up there you see like yeah yeah this is um, you could probably rig some kind of. I mean, d- depending on, on the resources they have, they may, they've got to have something. Okay. Uh, the, because w- what is missing is you know uh, kind of the, the the deflector dish, um, and and the and the little the little um, knobby thing in the front that shoots the deflector and goes off into the satellite. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so if that you is could, a technical term. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Knobby thing. I could it's look, about a technical I could look at the name of those things, yeah. but screw it. Um, <laughs> and, and so you need some kind of you need some kind of transmitter, and, and and you need to recreate the deflector. So um, honestly, you could probably even use that ping pong table. Okay. Um, <laughs> then I you know I use my comms to basically relay that not only to my team but basically to everyone. I'm kind of doing it on like an open channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like saying, "Hey, I'm up here. Uh, I gotta look at this thing. I think there might be a way that we can sort of, you know, make a workaround. Here's what I need, mm-hmm. kind of thing." Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's going to take some time. Probably about uh, four to five hours, you would think, just to kind of get the mm. the frequency right and, and 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 to make sure that you have the curvature correct. You're gonna need to do some milling mm. um, in inside, uh, but. But yeah, b- about four to five hours, uh, you could probably get this thing back online. Okay. Hmm. Should I stay up here? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. You want to climb back down? Uh, yeah, I'll climb back down because right. I will. I will take a picture with my eyes Ooh. to show them what we're working with, uh-huh. and then when I'm on the ground, I'll, I'll share the picture with everyone and say, like, basically make a schematic and be like, so if we can put these pieces here, then that should be enough to get X Y Z. Okay. Cool. I I know about as much. Technical jargon as you do. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> like I have Any to play evidence it. of sabotage? As far as I can tell, it's unclear. But if we can get a signal out to the general, that's definitely gonna, you know, help with trust around here and maybe. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Um, another thing to know: it's going to be night very soon, and so it's going to be difficult to work on this in the night. So probably best to wait till morning. It's it's going to be. It's going to be tough to install all of this equipment just, you know, using using handheld lights and junk like that. Oh, so. I have dark vision. Oh, you have dark vision, do you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can certainly try it. It gets very cold at night, too, so... Uh, I got the captain. I got the new coat. I got the captain's blanket. Uh-huh. I've got the warmth of my team. My okay. Clo- my, that's true. My cloak <laughs> once per day, so it might be... Is it battery-powered? Uh, that's a decent question. I don't think it says whether it's battery-powered. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say, I'll give you a battery. It's okay. <laughs> Swap it out. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Okay. So we got that going on. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Uh, okay, so inside, uh, is there anything you guys are wanting to do while this is happening? 
Yeah. Uh, uh, the lieutenant comes over to you. Uh, he's looking a little bit better. He's he's kind of patched up and he's he's healed. He's got you know the healing juices working. The little nanobots are are, are inside of him, um, and so he kind of approaches you, and he's like, um, "You're the uh, so you're the guy in charge here. I take it." Yeah. Was that the voice I was using? I assume it is. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, uh, he's like, "Okay." Uh, so you said that you you found my men in an APC. Yes. Up north. Mm-hmm. Or uh, down south. How far out were they? They were about 100 miles out. Okay. Do you, do you know the exact coordinates? Because I'd, I'd, I'd like to recover my men. And... Right. Uh, let's see. They were near uh, some ordnance mounted on a plateau. Ordnance? Yeah, there was ordnance on a plateau. We assumed it was probably something from this base. Uh, I don't, we don't have any... Thing outside of the you, base. you don't have any defenses out of 100 miles? No. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll describe the type of ordinance that we found out there. <coughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, uh, it, it was, was like that handheld. Um, yeah, it was a handheld like missile anti, tube. <clears throat> yeah. Anti vehicle missile kind mm-hmm. of thing. Oh, well, yeah, we don't have any of those in the base. It's... Hmm. Well, that appears to be what took your people out. <sighs> That's weird. Can I give him the, the exact coordinates? Or do I have them? Um. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you have the exact coordinates, though. It, it, you would have to go to the Cheese Bodo's uh, uh, Cheese machine Bodo and kind of recreate, because uh, it, you know it's not actively tracking uh, where you were. Right. So okay. Um, well, I'll uh, I'll give him the best estimate I can, but sorry, I can't do any better than that. All right, that's fine. All of them were dead, huh? All of them. <sighs> they were and stripped. And well, they were. It was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay. And there were tracks. But we don't. We all we could do is trace them back to the ordinance. But we don't know where they went. They seem to have maybe jetpacked off. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, it's uh, it's getting late for my men here, so uh, we're gonna have a half the half the uh, half the guys here are gonna uh, uh, go to sleep, and um, we have the other the other half gonna stay up on watch. Right. Do you guys need somewhere to stay? I know you've been. <laughs> Out in the cold for some time, so... Yeah, well, uh, we were thinking we would stay here, if that's all right. Yeah, I think we can make room for you. What uh, precautions have you been taking against the Aslanti? Well, which... <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't really know. We don't let them into the base. This is... Okay. <laughs> I don't think they know about the location, of it, so... Captain... Yeah. Wait, sorry, you're captain. <laughs> <laughs> you shift real quick. Has anyone in your group been acting strange lately? Well, I mean, they're all kind of weird, but no more than usual. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, we'll uh, get this all fixed up as soon as we can. Okay. You don't mind if we maybe go in and out and try to fix that while uh, over the night? Huh? Uh, no. Yeah. Do do what you, do what you guys have to do. Do you mind if um, I go through the database? What? Do you mind if I go through your records? Why? I would like to identify what ordinance is connected to this facility. What ordinance? Like, yeah, I mean, this oh, is you're a, talking about the, the missile tube, right? The defense systems, yes. Uh, well, I can tell you firsthand that we don't have that heavy uh, weaponry here. I mean, we've got small arms. Uh, we have the uh, the turrets on the outside, of course, but uh, we, we don't have any handheld missile tubes that came from outside the base. I. I I, I, listen, I, I know you guys mean well here, but I can't just have you guys going through my computer files. I hope you understand. You guys aren't stewards. No, we're not. But, here, can I show you something? Sure. <coughs> Do I know where my old workspace was around here? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, the things on the inside have changed a lot since you oh, were it's, here. Oh, it's been re- um, it's been And so, uh, uh, yeah, and so you used to, you used to control from here, okay. uh, uh, but but this seems to have turned into uh, uh, more of a, uh, what, the hell, what the hell is that? <laughs> Hold on. Um, it's a harpoon station. Yeah, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's 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 another gun on the backside uh, of the uh, of the, the laundry room? facility. Uh, so it's <laughs> where so the washing machine. Oh yeah, this is this is just the uh, this is the base control center. So um, it doesn't it doesn't control the anti air defenses. Those have been moved somewhere else. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you used to be here, and this used to be the thing that controls the anti air 
uh, rocket, which is what that is right there. All right, I was gonna try to show him something I carved into the desk way back in the day, but I don't know if it's this. Yeah, it's been removed. <laughs> <laughs> well, the desk would probably be in storage. <laughs> Possibly. It'd be weird to go looking around for it. Was there a desk here? Like, probably you, uh, you know, I've table. only been here sure. years, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, it's the ping pong table. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure that we had a renovation. We had a pretty big renovation about uh, about a year ago after I came here, so... It looks good. Pretty sterile. We, yeah, we do all right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, all right. I won't go snooping then. Cool. Appreciate that. Uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, just uh, you know, help yourselves uh, to, to whatever. Uh, there's a there's a, a locked door in the back, and and, and again, like I said, I, I I trust you guys, but until we get the high sign from the general, we're gonna have to keep that door uh, locked and secured. The new wing over there. Yeah. All right. yeah, he, he points down the hallway and points down uh, at, at, at this red area here. It's just like, yeah, to the to the left there and then to the right, uh, that's, a, that's a secure area, and it's going to have to stay secure until we get the high sign from the general. And I don't mean any offense to you guys. I know you guys are... Well, no, let's get it figured out. Let's get the communication figured out first. We can work from there. Right. Understand. I know I could use some sleep wherein I would lie down and be defenseless. <laughs> <laughs> we all yep. could use a little of that, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, I, well, mm, uh, subterfuge. Uh, uh, friends, uh, weren't you supposed to call your other uh, friend and tell him to come with that the car? Oh yes. Yeah. The, yeah. How do we send a signal out? Oh, I, I don't we, know. We could send like a. You guys. You guys have. Can't get anything that far. Um, Otherwise, it, we'd be able. They'd be able to contact the general. Well, I mean, the the the, the car is is within sort of long range of okay. uh, of of your com devices. Okay, um, so we can. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So so you're you're able to get small like short messages out to them. Um, nothing like you can't have a conversation with them, uh, but you can send out like a like a pager uh, type thing mm -hmm. uh, to, to to give them the high sign to come in. Uh, hey, before you go, San Francisco. Very low minutes. frequency, bounce it off the atmosphere thing. Okay. So. Uh, Jones, before you go, hmm? uh, would it be all right if we had two more people come in? <clears throat> um, Is that I, too many? Yeah, no, that's that's fine. Who are, who are they? Friends uh, of yours? They're compatriots of ours. They're also doing the same mission. And you trust them? Yeah, I do. And yeah. they have credentials. Yeah. All right. Like I said, this is. I mean, it's an unusual time. I know uh, we've gotten we've gotten the order to to leave the planet, but uh, you know, I I don't want to just we. We were under instructions to to destroy this base. Uh, <coughs> you are going to destroy it? Yeah. So that the Islanti couldn't use it? Basically, yeah. I can't believe you guys are just going to give up. It wasn't my call, man. I would stay here if I could, but... What, what about us? We need this place. Yeah. This yeah. is our home. You, you could stay, you know. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I can't be a deserter. I mean, what do you want me to just... Well, the, leave the, the stewards? The stewards are deserting <clears throat> here. You'd basically just be a stayer. I, I'm not either. exactly sure. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I you know, I, listen, I, I understand and I appreciate what you guys are doing here. Uh, if you're staying behind to defend, you obviously have some knowledge of the invasion. I don't know where you got that knowledge, but again, this isn't my question to ask, but um, um, I'm a steward and I'm here to follow orders and I don't want to... <laughs> You know what I mean? Hey, you do you. We'll get this all sorted out. Yeah, I wish you guys the best, but I have my orders. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, I guess your friends can uh, can come in here. We can uh, come over to the uh, the radar over here, and he takes you uh, to this section, which is the communications. Uh, you know, this leads right up over here. Okay. We have the captain. We have Twill, who has piped in. Where the hell is Twill? <laughs> ah! Okay. Put him in the room. We got no Baba Beck. Oh, that's not. That's oh, not, that's, that's not Baba Beck. Oh, oh no! Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much darker vest. No Baba Beck is over here. This is kind of the. Uh, this is sort of the radar terminal. This was. This was what was pinging you guys. Uh, the, the the radar portion of this uh, tower is intact. It's just the communications portion that is gone. Uh, the vest has decided to turn in for the night. And the Vesk's name is 
Shooting the crit. That was shoot the crit. Shoot the crit. Shooting the crit. Shooting the crit. Shooting the crit. Aren't I still up on the? No, it's just shooting. Oh, were you just listening in over over comms? Yeah. Okay, so you were. I would assume I'm just basically like up there for the night. Okay, cool. You were you were just talking to the captain then? Yeah. Okay. Are you just gonna work? Yeah. You're like out in the. Uh huh. The weather though, right? How are you gonna do with the weather? You doing all right? Aren't you bad at being in the weather? Well, I got I got the I got the new coat and I've got the. I'm in the garage. Blanket. I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a buddy yeah. system. Um, oh. By the way, I, oh, I, 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 I I'm, I'm at the bottom of the antenna sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping at the bottom of the antenna. Okay. It's a buddy system, um, right? Right. Put right. you out there. And by the way, with, uh, I am 100% installing a backdoor device up there, <laughs> so that we can so that we can listen to. Communications that go in and out of here. Really? It'll be ours soon enough anyway. Why would antennas need doors? That seems silly. <laughs> no, 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 this is. I'm talking. You need to do That's fine. <laughs> Everyone just answers. Your I'm questions saying it's so overcome. Really. <laughs> so, where, where are, are we like sleeping somewhere? They give us sleeping quarters for the night? Yes. So, the, uh, the, the quarters are right here. These are bunk beds. Um, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, you can sleep ten. Uh, generally, these sleep in shifts, so they're not all sleeping at the same time. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, the 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 Vesk uh, named uh, Shoot the Crit has gone to has gone to bed, um, as has uh, Corporal. Here, so yeah, you guys can have these um, first three rooms. Yeah, we should probably take shifts as well. I'll stay awake. Uh, how Actually, long? well, no, there's no, there's going to be six of you, so yeah, you need those first three rooms. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> are you going to stay up and work, or is it better for me to rest than do it in the morning? I mean, you might as well rest if you got a lot of thinking to do here pretty soon. I think I yeah, will I go to sleep and be defenseless for the entire night, and all we right. should all go to sleep and also be defenseless. It's a good idea. I'm not really going to be defenseless, Captain. I know, I know Beck. I'm going to stay awake. <laughs> I hope that this deception will lead people to try and attack us during the night. Exposing which of them are the... <laughs> yeah. ...are compromised. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. We'll, we'll, talk, about, we'll talk about discussing plans. With, no, you're doing great, Beck. He's the worst spy! <laughs> yeah, he's not He's not a, much of a spy. So spy that's spying what spying. I mean! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, all right. Cool. Uh, so, in that case, all right, I guess I am resting for the night. Oh, yeah, thank go, God. Okay, so <laughs> you're like, yeah, go ahead and rest. You can warm up too there, Ruffalo, if you I'm want. I'm gonna sleep in the garage. You're gonna sleep in the garage? Okay, that makes sense. I guess that's where under tools. the uh, blood drenched. Uh, no. Okay, yeah. I guess that's I where Twill's got to sleep too. Then. Okay. I have tires. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, so Shylithia is going to stay up. Um, um Twill. Shylithia is on a different. Can you make illusions or anything like that? Uh, on myself. Okay, because because I, I, I was just wondering if we could like make an illusion of any of us sleeping. I can do a mirror image of myself, <laughs> so it looks like there's four of me. Oops. Yeah, I can get a stuffed animal that looks like me. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so this is this is <laughs> it's like in Pokemon using the yeah the doll. Pokemon doll. Yeah. I can paint it red with the blot on the ping pong table. <laughs> Just like me. You're the best Pokemon. <laughs> okay, that's JP Beastman. I don't know if I should be insulted. <laughs> so yeah, JP Beastman is on uh, is on guard, uh, as is uh, Shylithia. Uh, the lieutenant is just up talking to you guys. Uh, so you guys send out the signal um, to the craft, or to, to the cheese bottle machine. Mm, cheese bottle deal. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yeah. And so this this is the signal they're waiting for, and so they're not they're not gonna be flying in under radar. They're just gonna be flying in normal. I'm gonna let our old JP Beastman know that somebody's gonna be coming to not shoot them if he's over there. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> JP yeah. Beastman gives the high sign. Mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah, you guys watch as the uh, cheese boat mobile uh, uh, comes in. You're kind of tracking it on the radar. Mm -hmm. um, you see the cheese boat mobile uh, coming in, um, and uh, right behind it, you see uh, a second blip. Closing in on the the cheese bottle mobile. Mm. I'm gonna send him out a text. There's something. What's behind you? <clears throat> um, uh, you you. It, it takes a little bit, uh, but you get a text back. Um, don't see anything. No, oh, I think there's something behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Uh, 
how far are they out? Uh, they're they're about uh, they they kind of just got started up, so they're about you know probably 90, 80 <clears throat> miles out. Oh no, not so far away. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, um, all right, you guys need to uh, throw what you need to figure out what's following you, and you need to throw it. Okay. Uh, um, watch, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, no, right? Old well, school looking digital watch. <laughs> Casio. Indigo. Love it. Indigo. Indigo. So, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're watching it on the radar, and um, <laughs> you can see the uh, Cheese Boat Mobile start to make kind of evasive maneuvers. Um, kind of veers off this way, veers off this way. Um, the, uh, the second blip behind is at the very high altitude, uh, as, as, as you figure out, um, and it is descending rapidly. Oof. Okay. Toward the uh, vehicle. They're, t- they're diving on you. Find some way to get out. <laughs> oh, it yeah. is moving much faster. Uh, but but the cheese boat are... vehicle is very quick. Do we have any... Can we shoot them from here? We can't, can uh, we? No, not, not, not at this range. They sure. got to get within 50 miles. Oh, no. Get within 50 miles. <laughs> <laughs> get within 50 uh, miles quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, they, they do that. Um, and they, they just close within 50 miles. Um, and you see them start to... Uh, veer off, and then they start to rapidly lose altitude as well. Mm, can I shoot whatever's following them now? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, you guys have had time to uh, to kind of uh, get the get the anti ship uh, defenses up and running. Um, and uh, who is who is going to man the uh, the weapon? You, you, you want to give this over this job over to the stewards, or, or do you guys want to take it on? You're you have quite the gunner, right? Yeah. I think we give you wake us up. Hmm? Yes, yeah, this, uh, the- <laughs> this, this is all happening very quickly. Yeah, it's happening pretty quick. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely Beck's right there with me. Yeah, so. Be- Beck is pretty much all like Beck has decided he is going to stay on guard all night and like be near the captain to try because okay. th- he's definitely thinks that there are a on guard among yeah. us. Yeah. So uh, hey, take a shot. So all right. and then Ruffalo, can you uh, wake up. Uh, what? <laughs> what kind of vehicles are in the garage right now? Um, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, a dirt bike looking thing with a snowmobile tread on it. No, oh, not uh, great. It doesn't, look, <laughs> it doesn't look great. Okay. There's a couple uh, tires you could maybe ride, I don't know. The, uh, yeah, uh, the image of the cheese automobile has vanished from radar. Alright, so Beck is gonna man the... The it's, it's a, as fast as he the can. the coil gun is the one that is going to have the range uh, to be able to hit uh, to be able to hit this thing. So Wait, uh, if the cheese will, if that thing disappeared from radar, mm-hmm. does that mean they got abducted by the other thing? In which case, you'd be shooting them down. If they if they disappeared from radar, most likely they're at ground level at this point. They weren't. Yeah, they weren't. Uh, the, the, those two blips never overlapped. Oh, cool. Oh. So, so yeah. yeah, should be okay. Because if if you go below a certain level, we just kind of establish that the radar has a harder time seeing it. So it might still be there, or it might have taken out the cheese moto boto mobile. Mm. Either way, we should probably shoot them, right? Yeah, we should probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Our yeah. friends are definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's that general? <laughs> uh, uh, so, okay, so this is going to be with the coil gun. Um, uh, okay, do from this, is it just like I can see the blip on the screen, or do I have any sort of visual on the actual ship? Um, you know, you're, you're, you're firing kind of blind still at this point. Like, it, uh-huh. you, you can't get a visual because uh, it, it doesn't go out that far. Uh, the, you, you're, you're firing kind of by radar. Sure, uh, seems fair. Point. Because of the snow and the visibility issues. So, okay. Yeah. And there's no exterior sensors to give you uh, more of a shot. So this is just kind of a, uh, you know, rad- radar guided uh, shot, which is, you know, still yeah, it's pretty good. Be good. It, it, it's going to be at, at long range, but uh, you can okay. still. Well, the captain told me to shoot, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shoot. Uh, this is an yeah. emotional decision, kind of, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go back to sleep. Uh, so, yeah, uh, give me. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me just... You said piloting was the shooting role? Yes, right? piloting is the shooting role. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, give me. Give me it's going to be. Uh, a total of what's your piloting? Plus fourteen. Plus fourteen. Yeah, I'm a good pilot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Mostly okay. for shooting purposes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a good <laughs> gun pilot. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so give me a roll. Okay. Give me a uh, yeah, an, an attack roll. Uh, it's a fifteen. Fifteen. So a total of twenty nine. No, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. Fifteen was the total. How many? How many ranks do you Wait, have you in piloting? I have fourteen. Oh, you're well, uh, no, just how many? How many? Not, not, not what the role is. Do you know how many ranks? I have you six have? ranks in piloting. Six. Okay, because I think that is Dan. 
Do you remember this oh. one? Okay. Uh, I, I believe it is it is plus six, like the, the number of ranks that you have in piloting is the bonus that you get to uh, starship weapons. Oh. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that's one that I remember, so it well, would be plus six. So you rolled a... Sorry. I rolled a one. You rolled a one? <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that's that's what I rolled. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could have led with that. <laughs> yep. No, it's it funnier though. to do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> I would like for You're you to right. try again. Yay! Oh, wow. Yay. Oh, yeah. We have like one reroll left. That's so. it. This is the only reroll that I think any of us have any wow. at all anymore. Okay. All right. Seems like a good place to use it. Okay, well, I rolled a 13. A 13, so okay. if I'm adding 6 to it, you're adding 19. You're adding 6 and it's a 19? Okay. Yes. Um, so that hits That hits the, uh, it's a coil gun, so it would be um, the EAC, because it's a ground, um, it's a ground-based vehicle, but it can be still targeted by that. So uh, roll me uh, uh, 4d4 for damage. 44. Mm-hmm. All right, first D4 uh, is a four. Yeah. Second D4 nice. is a two, so okay. that's six. Third D4 is a four yeah. again, so that's 10. And the last yeah. D4 is also a four, so that's hey. 14. 14? All right. Yeah. That's damn max. fine roll. Yeah. Damn, damn, damn Very fine nice. roll. Okay. Um, Could only have been two better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, you, you see... Uh, the the vehicle sort of take an evasive uh, uh, sh- uh, turn to the side, um, and uh, the speed increases, and it dips down low and uh, uh, disappears from radar. I've lost it, Captain. That's probably, well, it looks like you clipped it. All right, um... Do we have any more messages from uh, Mira and the Yosoki? I don't remember. Uh, Sebastian. 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 (laughs) Please tell me you didn't crash. No response. Oh, no. You you killed the person you're unreplacing. (laughs) That sucks. (laughs) Oof. Uh, It's okay. I'd only met him once before in a non-canon episode. (laughs) All right, you see... Okay, this is what William does. He leaves the turret area. He's going straight to the garage. Okay. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, his impulse is to hop on the. Uh, are you actually on the thing? <laughs> I, I got it up to just to see if it works. And oh, okay. I, does it work? Uh, yeah. Okay. It, yes. It so is I, functional. Yeah, this thing runs. I don't know how fast it goes, but what? Wait, what are you, where are you going? What are, what's happening? I'm gonna hop on it. But, uh, okay. I mean. It's, oh boy. <laughs> you're not oh. sleepwalking, right? This isn't like a weird joyride sort of thing. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Where, should I come with you? I'm gonna fire it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it fires. It fires right up. Take it right up to the door. Okay. <laughs> what is that? It's, Was that you making it's a mince, noises? It's a mince frustration. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, got it. Uh, are you okay? Should I? Uh, do you want me to do? Beck, Beck, I need. Uh, I need you to, to to bring me down for a second here. All right, Captain. My impulse, what I want to do right now is just leave and go find them. I know that that's bad to leave this base, potentially to the Atlante. There's a part of me that doesn't care. There's a huge part of me that does care. Captain, they are capable of handling themselves. Mira is quite capable, despite being somewhat volatile. We need you here. The fewer of us there are, the more we could be outnumbered. We know that at least five uniforms have been taken. And at least we maybe got their ship. Maybe. All right, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I almost left you guys. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. They can handle themselves. You're right. You're right. Okay. Uh, let's just let's keep doing what we were doing. I'm sure they're fine, Captain. <sighs> All right. Thanks, Beck. If there's anything I've learned from working with our crew. It is that we are all incapable of dying, <laughs> despite how hard we try. I hope you're right. <laughs> I hope not, you're right. I'm not, I'm not your crew, but I'm not going to try to die. Hey, you don't have. You shouldn't. We're. I mean, besides, if you try to die, it's not honorable. So. Don't worry, small one. It will happen naturally. <laughs> okay. So Lieutenant Monstrosity Jones uh, joins you uh, in the garage, and he's like, um, "Yeah, I'm." Sorry about your, uh, sorry about your friends. We had, we had more vehicles, but, um, 
Yeah. You had more vehicles before? Well, we lost the APC and right. we haven't heard back from uh, from <laughs> from BSB Care. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we know we know a BSB Care. I shot him to the right? face. <laughs> yeah, he used to work down with the deep ones. The what? Oh, don't worry about it. It's a very long story. It's a very common name, I'm sure. Yeah, really. They're incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Rude. Oh, if you met them, you'd understand. Oh, okay. The deep ones. Hmm. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah so uh, sounds like uh, I don't know what that second vessel was, but um, that's bad news, right? It's probably really bad news. Okay. Um, Are all the defenses where they need to be? Yeah, yeah. We've got the the, the, the two guns in the front, the one in the back, and the anti-ship defenses. Um, I guess we just hunker down here and wait for them? Is that the plan? For yeah. a couple hours out, if they're coming in by foot. <clears throat> mm, well, I guess they'd have to, or else we'd shoot them down, huh? Yeah. All right, well, let's... Uh, I'm going to wake Twill up. We're going to... Let's get started on this antenna right now. <laughs> I, hey, sorry, time to get to work. Okay. <clears throat> I need you up there. We have incoming and. Wait, what? We possibly have incoming and the Mira and, and Sebastian may have been shot down. Why didn't you come wake me up sooner? <laughs> Well, we were busy shooting them down. Yeah, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> you look so peaceful. <laughs> they might have died honorably. They might have. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to get to work then. I'm going to basically get my gear and get up the, the tower. Okay, um, uh, so yeah, hey, uh, um, uh, Shilithia, uh, I mean, he's a mechanic, but he's got the night watch. You need him to help out at all? Or? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, all hands on deck for this one. All right. Uh, yeah. Sure. And I'll uh, while I'm up there, I'll see if I can see anything coming. Um, mm. Yeah, you get up there. I mean, you, you can't you can't see far enough out to to verify what's happening. Out oh there. no, I mean like as like while I'm working like as a watch, like I see engines in the both. distance. You oh, know? I see. So yeah, 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 you're just gonna keep one eye on your yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Do 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 a creepy android thing with this one <laughs> eye over here and one eye over <laughs> here. Yeah, that's that's weird, man. But you know, you you guys do you. Um, cool. Do I remember what this thing is? <laughs> Which thing? This here? Uh, so this is uh, the the rocket that gets fired up into the air that communicates with all of the anti-ship defenses on the planet. Um, so it's 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 kind of like a like a scramjet type thing uh, that it, that it just fires and even if you were to cut this base off from communications, it could still reach out and uh, hit all of the various silos that are located all over the planet and give them the commands. But you have to give them the commands oh. from this center um, mm -hmm. uh, so, before. But even with so no that's, antenna, that's like can... the analog red button. Yes, yes, basically. And so you have to be able to identify target or targets that are up in uh, orbit for the weapons to target. Okay, target or targets up in orbit. So I guess we'd need our all of our sensors working and stuff for that. Uh, probably help. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> where do I know? Okay, so this is the facility wh where I had access to the super nuke, right? Was yes. It? How do I figure out? whether it's still here or how to get a hold of it or how to Well, you don't see your um your position anymore. Like like the the, the room that you were in has been moved somewhere. Ah. Maybe secret room. Mm. Mm. Maybe a locked door. That would make sense. <laughs> Should we start breaking walls uh... until we find secret rooms? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Is we... this my water, by the way? It's oh. uh it could be. I don't you know. want water? It's empty. Yes, please. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, I found it. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. <laughs> wow. I put it on my feet for no good reason. All right. Well, let's. Uh, yeah, let's get going on that antenna as soon as possible. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, uh, so I'm just gonna allow you to take twenty uh, on, on fixing uh, on, on fixing the antenna. So, yeah, you were up there, uh, variously blasted uh, by cold winds. 
I've got um, my I got my new jacket. But you got your new jacket on, um, and you're tethered up there, and 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 you're ready to go. And, and you know you you've got to climb up and down, but you've got a system worked out uh, with you know I, I assume some sort of some sort of safety Pulleys, harness, yeah, yeah, yep. uh, um, that, that that can get you up and down. And uh, Shilithia is helping out. Uh, uh, Shilithia is a, a a big strapping uh, young human, um, and uh, you know he's he's able to carry uh, quite a bit. And uh, so he can he can bring out parts to you, and he kind of stands at the at the foot of the antenna. Right. Um, you have gone to sleep, uh, uh, Beck. You are staying awake and vigilant. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, and in fact, if um, so, is Captain Will going to sleep anywhere? Captain Will, what are you doing? There is no sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there will be none. All right. So basically, whatever room we're assigned to, Beck is standing. <clears throat> Like with his back against the wall next to the door. Okay. In case anybody like comes in, he's like ready. But like he doesn't want to be able to be seen through like any windows in the door or anything like that. Mm-hmm. He he is like full tension awake the entire night. Okay. Got it. Um Dan. Hi. Give me a perception check. I would love to. Roll Man. well. That's uh, he not didn't. great. <laughs> uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Don't worry about it then. Oh, okay. Um, cool. Great. Let's... I'm too busy and saw my 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 back door. Oh, no. So oh, uh, no. so Beck, Beck, you were staying <laughs> awake, and Beck, you were going to be patrolling uh, around the base then. I'm actually mostly sticking around wherever our like sleeping quarters are. Got it. Okay. Cool. Uh, so let's... I, I'm I'm trying to see if anyone like tries to come to us. And I, I'm also gonna keep an eye on the entrance to the uh, the communications tower, because I think those are the areas that if someone is like trying to stop us from opening communication again, mm-hmm. they would most likely go for it. Okay. So, yeah. Got it. Um, all right, well, eventually the lieutenant goes to bed, and as does uh, Alex, he's going to Go with these two gents. J.P. Beastman? Uh, sorry, yeah, J.P. Beastman. Not Alex. J.P. Beastman. Uh, uh-huh. So, yeah, uh, J.P. Beastman goes into uh, the bunk um, with, with, the, with the two guys there, uh, leaving uh, just, um, just Trilithia um, as the last person awake at, um, at the base. Well, in the whole, well, I'm awake, too. Oh, yes, you're awake, too. So. Okay. Or oh, the last um, of the, them that's awake? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the going is slow um, in in repairing uh, this this thing, but it's okay. I got my tunes. Yeah, you got your tunes, um, and um, you know you're you're keeping an eye out, scanning the horizon, uh, always being aware, and uh, uh, you manage to get a decent reflector dish uh, up and running. And uh, you just kind of need to figure out how this processor is going to work. Um, and um, you hear a whooshing noise that does not sound like wind at all. Hey, I think we've got incoming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Um, uh, yes, a, um, uh, a missile, or not necessarily a missile, what you see is an explosion. Um, that hits just off of this side over here. I use my uh, zip line of sorts to basically descend the tower. Okay. Right? <laughs> All right, uh, give me an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> this is going to go great. Uh, not too uh, bad. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so you are able, it's not pretty. Um, it doesn't Fine. look great, uh, <laughs> uh, but you manage to uh, land uh, on the ground. Uh, it's sort of in a in a ball of um, ball of snow, and you go scrambling uh, toward the front door. Uh, incoming! Incoming! <laughs> incoming! Incoming! What? what? Used to. <clears throat> uh, yep, I'm gonna go you, check. The, this so it's, you, you, the base is sort of rocked by an explosion. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run over to this uh, to the turret we were at before, mm-hmm. so I can monitor. Uh, what are like the close range to? Well. Yeah, whichever turret's closest, so I can at least so I can look at the radar. And Are you looking like, for a- anti-vehicle or anti-personnel? Uh, probably anti-vehicle. I guess I'd have to run all the way to the garage, huh? I'm in the garage. All right. Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna handle those guns? I'm in it. I'm on it. 
Uh, Beck is going to make his way to the restricted area. The restricted Which, area? It sounds like that's where the... Um, that's where the explosion happened. The it's contact not, came from. It's not our uh-huh. fault. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, so, yeah, Beck, you are here, and you run over toward the restricted area. Yep. Uh, as, as you hit this corner here, um, you see J.P. Beastman mm-hmm. uh, 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 peeking his head out, and he goes, What happened? There's been an assault on the compound. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta get the lieutenant. And uh, you clear out this way, and he runs into the lieutenant's room. Okay, and you are manning the comms, right? Or, uh, well, is there, these have a radar, right, these guns? Yes, uh, yes, these guns have a radar. That's or or they have, like, sensors, like, okay. infrared wherever, sensors. Wherever, wherever I'm going to be able to see sensors is Okay, cool, yeah, sensors. so this is, this is, this is okay. the control. Cool. Well, actually, you, you can, you can either do individually, or mm-hmm. you can go back here, um, to the computer and control them from this area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's okay. do that. so this area, this, this is the home spot want to go Let's go to the death pod. That's my old home. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, Alex is outside yeah. with Twill. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> um, no, this is uh, uh, don't don't tell me. No, tell me who is it? JP Beastman. J- no, this isn't JP Beastman. This well, he, is that's Alex. That's Jason. This is no mechanic. The mechanic. Jason the mechanic is Shylithia. 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 Okay, Shylithia. Uh, Shylithia and uh, Twill come inside. Uh, I'm gonna hop on a, a an unmanned gun if there isn't if there is one. Yeah, yeah. You can either hop on the uh, machine gun or the other one. Machine gun has longer range. Right, the other one is for anti-vehicle, right? Uh, well, no, these are the two anti-vehicle ones. Oh, got it. They're both uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the uh, the the light cannon. The light cannon. Uh, Stellar okay. cannon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, Shy Lithia will hop in the machine gun. <clears throat> so, by the way, it's D twenty plus uh, pilot ranks plus the gunner's dex mod plus computer ah. uh, systems, and then uh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it adds all that for you. So I, I did get the pilot rank thing right. I just didn't oh, no, get the dex mod. Gunnery check on the starship weapon. Uh, right. So it's what was it? It's okay. Uh, I guess I think it's just piloting. plus fourteen. So right? it's nah. for me. Piloting skill. It's just like piloting skill. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, that is. Pi- it's all. Co- it's all in there. Yeah. It's just piloting. Oh really? That's weird. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. Why would they say it like that then? It doesn't take your miscellaneous <laughs> mods, but it adds like ship computers and stuff. I like don't that. know. Okay. All right. I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna question one. Mm-hmm. I'll take um, it. It's more for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, Garav, you're in the garage. Well, yes. <laughs> Garav is in the garage. The, 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 <laughs> in the garage. At least you said the garage. Yeah. Right. There are three levers, and I have six hands, so I'm doing great. <laughs> you just start pulling levers? Yeah, I can control both of these guns. I got piloting them good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so these these are ship weapons, so uh, they're, they're only going to be usable if a ship comes into view. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm here for. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, is that everybody? Yeah. Can, can I get into the restricted area, or is that... So you like- run here... And the door slams behind you. Huh. Uh, Captain! Yeah. I'm trapped in the restricted area. Uh yeah. and uh two things pop out from the walls and fire. I'm gonna have to kill things. <laughs> <laughs> and well, we are going to handle all of that next week. No, uh, in two weeks. Oh, in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Uh, in two weeks. So, in two weeks, uh, in two weeks, we are going to handle the Battle of the Alamo, as I'm oh. going to call it. Uh, Boy, I'm, I'm going to need that uh, that episode recap, or I'm going to forget. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, so, everything is in position uh, as far as the defensive... Uh, the preparations that you guys have made. Um, <laughs> Peck is locked in a uh, <coughs> locked in a hallway. Um, some death, death lasers. Yeah, cool. Captain is is sort of manning the computers at the station. Um, uh, 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 Grav uh, uh, or Ruffalo. Uh, sorry, Ruffalo. Yeah. Uh, Ruffalo is at the uh, at the controls of the anti ship, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, Twill is uh, h- handling the the turret on the other side of the wall. So. Oh boy. Um, We're just all going. As to... for the rest of the stewards, um, you know, who knows what they're doing? 
they're betraying us most likely. Seems, seems like they may <laughs> they may have slept through it. Uh, might uh, be something to look into. It's gonna be really exciting oh, oh. when the White Walkers show up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so that is our show for tonight, guys. I want to thank you guys for joining us again. I apologize for not calling out your subs. It's because I'm a bad person and I didn't Aww. hit the little check mark on there. But I love you all and thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for coming out and thank you guys for watching and join us in two weeks. In fact, join us in one week because you're gonna see Dan uh, uh, rocking a one-off episode that is going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing, the, I'm going to take a break from my vacation and just watch the show. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, this is all very interesting, but I want to see how Dan is going to do on the show. So, no Dan, I trust you implicitly, don't screw this up. <laughs> the eyes of Paizo are watching us, and the eyes of all the people watching at home. So I will not let you down. I will probably let everyone in this room down, right. I will not let you down. <laughs> TPK. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, uh, tomorrow night. Um, oh, is anything going on on this channel tomorrow night? No. No. We're dark tomorrow night. And we're dark on wow. Thursday night. Uh, but on Friday night, Saving Throw has their weekly uh, Savage Worlds wild cards. Uh, what, what episode are you guys on now? Uh, oh yeah! If, if you li if you liked Garav tonight, you're gonna see more Garav on yes. Wild Cards. If you join in at eight o'clock p.m. I on Friday, I also play a small furry animal there. Yes, <laughs> the furry animal. Different. He's not a small furry animal. <laughs> eight. Thank you, Dom. Episode yes. eight. I was close. Episode eight. Yep. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, check it out. It's it's ETU, uh, which is uh, East Texas University. I don't know, Jordan. You explain it. A little it, bit more, so. It's like a college setting, so we're just like college kids, but there's also an occult dark horror underbelly of the entire thing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, even, like, regular college things are still obstacles. Like, we're going to finals this week. Oh, yeah. And that's a real thing. That's the thing you have to pass to, yeah. like, continue doing this and stuff. You guys so. actually take the tests while you're sitting at yes. the table, right? Jordan like, gives Jordan us, hands like, out. actual bubble sheets. <coughs> yeah. We have to do SATs. Do you have, like, a blue yeah. book that you need to fill out? But I mean, like, portion? one episode <laughs> we had to fight a obsessive stalker who could summon who could like control bees to attack yeah. people he disliked and another episode like we got busted by the cops for drinking at a party yeah. underage yeah. <laughs> so. <Most> victims, yeah. <laughs> wait yeah. did did jordan take that bees plot from rescue rangers there's a <laughs> no he got it from he got it from that oprah gif actually yeah. oh oh god okay because <laughs> 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 there was a woman who rescue could control rangers. bees uh and she, there was like uh, uh, come along you belong Anyway, uh, Disney, yeah. Disney, if you're watching, DuckTales is amazing. Bring back Rescue Rangers. Oh, please! That'd bring cool. back Rescue I, I would I love know. to introduce my son to Rescue bring Rangers. Bring back Darkwing Duck. That's yeah. He's on uh, DuckTales. He is? Yes. Yay. Wait, yeah. I thought he wasn't canon. In the... Whatever. I'll yep, talk, about don't don't talk to Dom about it later. <laughs> 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 uh, um, so yeah, uh, uh, check that out on, on Friday. Uh, uh, tomorrow on the Paizo channel, uh, you have Starfinder Wednesday with, uh, with Mr. Mr. Dan Thorpe. Uh, uh, he's going to be, I don't know what they're talking about tomorrow, but it's going to be something very, very interesting, I'm sure. Then following that, uh, you have Pungent Crawl, colon, Mind the Gap, uh, with uh, a BB Wolf, On Call GM, et al. Uh, and they are going to be entertaining you after Starfinder, after Starfinder Wednesday is concluded. Uh, so you guys should tune in for that. Last um, week, Starfinder Wednesday, they unveiled the beginner box, oh, yeah. and it is mwah. Yeah, guys, check oh, out, there's, there's a VOD, I believe, out there floating yeah, around. Uh, uh, it is, yeah. I've read the whole core rule book, and I'm still probably buying the beginner box. Mm -hmm. It's nice. so yeah, nice. Yeah, save, save, your, save your monies now, uh, because it, it's going to be well worth the investment. Uh, to get your hands in that sweet little box, and so, uh, and so yeah, check that out. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what they're doing, but I'm sure it's going to be just as, uh, just as crazy and intense this week on Starfinder Wednesday. Uh, and then on uh, Monday, uh, you have uh, Mr. Squidish uh, running uh, Two Perception, which they do a, a Pathfinder uh, live stream. Uh, I, I've been watching it quite a bit of it lately, and it's, it's very entertaining. Um, so that's also on the official Paizo channel, and that starts at, oh god, I want to say 4 o'clock on Monday? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's in there somewhere. So, um, so yeah. Uh, I don't know. Does anybody else have anything that well, uh, needs Saturday to is our big uh, Spring Break Beach Bash over at Saving Throw. Oh my though. god! So Woo! Tell me for that. That's, that's not this Saturday, though, right? That's yeah. this Saturday. The 16th. You're right! March 16th. <laughs> it is! Yeah! yeah. It's starting, at, it's starting at what? 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. So tune in for that. We're starting with uh, Monster of the Week, run by uh, Stephen Pope. Uh, so tune in. Yeah, it's going to be a whole uh, 16 hours, I think, ish. Mm -hmm. 
ish of uh, tabletop role playing and uh, a bunch of other fun stuff. So, yeah, yeah, geez, how did I how did I forget about that on Saturday? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah that, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going to be there. Uh, probably gonna be uh, my son is gonna be around somewhere. So cool. If you want to see the person who's creating all this Lego magic? No, I, I created this entire base. <laughs> it's so cool. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but so, he's yeah. good with Legos. He's yeah. amazing with Legos. He is very good. He's he's created some fantastic creations that we've featured on this. So and uh, I've broken. <laughs> yes, that that Dan has uh, summarily broken. Accidentally. I I swear. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, tune in on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I think that is everything. So yeah, I will see you guys in two weeks. And for the rest of you, uh, hopefully you will come back in one week and watch the show. So until then, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Love you. Good night. Mwah.